And it's Friday. Are we good? Yes. I accidentally stopped the stream, so hopefully... <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I stopped and started. I pressed the wrong button. So hopefully everybody is still watching. If you're not, reconnect. Would it, um, would it completely die if you stopped it? I don't think so on Twitch. It might just automatically reconnect. Yeah. But hey, Gretams. Hey, Gretams. Welcome. <laughs> welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Uh, yeah. It is now Friday, and yes. we are going to play some more trackball Yay! games and you haven't played any because uh, i haven't played any uh, you weren't here on wednesday no! where we played the first five trackball no, games I'm excited. that were recently released by atari age yes greetings great us <laughs> <laughs> um i think that's what they thought you said gretums great gretums no I no am... or he meant that but that's okay. yeah oh here's atari atari wants to say hello and over yes. there is Pixel. He's found a yeah. drawer to... <laughs> he opened a drawer and climbed in. So yeah. we're wondering if he'll just settle there for the uh, entirety of the... He uh, might, because it's new. Yeah. And cats like new things. Yeah. Um, so this is where we play new games and old systems. And the new games we have to play today are these five here. Brand new releases um, of older games. So these are hacks mm -hmm. to make use of the Atari trackball um which and atari is very excited because he likes he anything is. to do with balls so. yeah so he'll chase the balls around but yes. he can't really see that ball no, that's true. um and before no, these no. releases there were zero games yeah. oh, on cartridge for the atari trackball mm -hmm. um there were no games ever made for the 2600 really for that trackball is that is that trackball for the 2600 or another no, atari it's compatible with it but it was yeah. made for the atari computer systems <laughs> So it's not specifically made for the 2600, gotcha. but it interfaces completely fine with it. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. um, and the sound actually should be much better today mm -hmm. because I was fiddling with the system, the uh, software, and I found that the audio, I think, was all going through that webcam audio right there for the oh. longest time. Oh, really? I think... Or it was mixing with the microphone and that. So it was. Um, so you got this echo, effects. and oh. that's why you could hear the audio from the game so clearly, making creating a game echo. I was like, how is it picking up the game? It's because the the microphone oh, was right was next. Was picking up the game. Yeah, because you see a, the webcam that's pointing at the Atari system over there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a webcam pointing at the Atari system right there. And I think that was the microphone that was picking it up. Mm. So now, when we don't talk, the audio goes right down to almost nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's coming out of the little um, cubby hutch. hole there, yeah. his little cat hutch. <laughs> so we're going to be playing uh, Space Master X7, Reactor, not in this order, mm -hmm. uh, Nexar. It's actually the challenge of Nexar. Mm. It's really tiny. Uh, Missile Command. And we're going to be starting with Millipede. Oh, cool. And we started with Centipede last day. Oh, Mr. Vic says nothing. Nothing! <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> nothing! Gretem says, hey, howdy, Mr. Fix. Mm -hmm. Mr. Fix says, nothing! <laughs> <laughs> um, but we have some mail, and I also want to remind everyone that Atari uh, <laughs> Pixel is walking across <laughs> and <laughs> looking in the webcam there. Hopefully he doesn't bump it. Oh, that's incredibly cute. <laughs> oh, that's very cute. Know uh, that the Atari Awards are coming up mm -hmm. on February 23rd. Oh, Retro Happy Hour liked, liked uh, Pixel sticking his nose in there. <laughs> Who uh, doesn't? The Atari Awards Aww. are coming up on February 23rd, and you guys will be able to vote on them uh, beginning January 23rd. Um, there's been a lot of debate in the forums about the categories we chose, of course. Of course. Um, you anticipated that, though. Of course. Yes. People are very particular <laughs> about their homebrew yes. and their classification yes. of homebrew. Yes. So there's raging debate about um, whether we should have had a pure category, whether mm -hmm. the, where there's no arm system, um, whether you know we should limit it to some category for 4K games and below, and just a, a bunch of debate 
about how to categorize and classify them. I was going to say nothing gets a nerd more excited than a classification system. Yes. <laughs> paperwork. <laughs> Ooh, Nerding classifying. out over paperwork. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I suppose it says that's great. Better sound. <laughs> yes. So is it way, way, way better? It should be like a hundred times He might not better. be able to hear it. I think he, he no, might it's... just be saying that, oh, the sound will be better. Oh, no. No? It's, it should be a hundred times better. Okay. The sound should be like crystal clear, yeah. not... Uh, a we'll have to do a side by room. side on the YouTube uh, videos. Yeah, we'll have to listen to it back after. <laughs> yeah. Um, so voting begins January 23rd. Voting ends February 18th. So you get three weeks to vote. And uh, then we present it live on Zero Page Homebrew mm -hmm. on a Saturday. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> on noon on a Saturday. Um, uh, noon Pacific time, 3 Eastern, 8 GMT. Everybody will be able to watch mm -hmm. in the Western Hemisphere. New <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Eastern Hemisphere. You're on your own. You're on yeah. your own. You're either waking up really early um, or you're staying up really late. Oh, yep. You're through the sound system projected onto the wall. Excellent. What? <laughs> well, his, that's his, good. His, his, his. Oh, okay. Good. I um, feel like you're getting confused with the, the, the chat today. I, <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's baffling me. <laughs> It's yeah. baffling me. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. breaking news, uh, just 30 minutes ago, Champ Games um, updated some news on Wizard of War, the upcoming Wizard oh, cool. of War game. Very, very, very good. And very it says, after a break for the holidays, Champ Games is back to work, this time on Wizard of War Arcade. Mm. We have made great progress on the maze editor, which will allow you to create up to three custom mazes and even mm. save them if you have an Atari Vox. Check out the video below that shows the intuitive interface that will have players creating new mazes in minutes. Mm -hmm. And my question to you guys out there, is there any other Atari game that has ever been created that you can make your own play field and save it? I'm sure there's lots that, or some that you could create your own play field, um, an editor, mm -hmm. not too many, but I'm sure there's some. But have there any been any that you could actually save it as well and play it later? Because that was something a, that came Atari a lot games? later. Twenty six hundred. Twenty six. Like there's no way to save anything ever in the original Atari game. So no. I don't think it would be back then. And I haven't heard anything in like since homebrew. kind of yeah 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 yeah. Um, because the only way you can save is on the Atari Vox that I know of. Mm. There might be some cartridges that you can save, but I don't know. Maybe. Um, but uh, that's something... Um, wow, Arcade! I haven't finished its sound and speech! Ah! <laughs> hair is on fire! Um, <laughs> well, you still have some time. They're still working on it. You better get on it. Quick, quick, quick. Um, but we've got some mail. Yay! Presents! And I think I know what this is. It is from Germany. It's from Open Pandora. Um, and I'm 100% sure, well, let's say 99% sure, that it is related to video games. And that's why I'm opening it on the show. I just like opening mail on the show anyway, even if it's not related. But usually it is, because I buy like, a lot of ow, video game stuff. Video game related stuff. It's all wrapped up. Let's see what this is. Come on. Oh, it came in a box. And it is exactly what I thought it was. It is the Call USB, a new way to power your ColecoVision console. Let's get a close up of this. Oh, there we go. Use a standard USB power to supply power to your ColecoVision. So, this is a tiny little USB? plug. USB? Yes. So, you, you can... power through a USB cord. To now, power your ColecoVision. Yes. So what I'm going to wow. do is actually go over there All right. and get the original ColecoVision plug. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we plug. we can compare okay. the sizes here. And yes, he just has his ColecoVision plug out in the open here. Hold that for a second. <laughs> I do. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, it's handy. I didn't plan this. Mm -hmm. Um... He knows exactly where it is, though. Yeah, I ordered this a <laughs> long time ago. Mm. Um, I just ordered something from that stem. So this was mm. on back order for a while. So let's open this up and take a look and see how big it is. And then compare it. 
The Call USB is an easy to use replacement for the original power supply of the ColecoVision. It enables you to use a standard USB power supply to power your console. It fe features multiple high quality power converters to ensure a console cannot be damaged by cheap power supplies. Mm. And that's why I bought it because I was reading a lot on Coleco power supplies frying, like the original ones, mm. destroying Colecos. Mm. And I thought, nope, that's not going to happen to my Cole RGB modded <laughs> ColecoVision. <laughs> yeah. That is very, very... Ex I did find another place that does mod them, actually. Oh, you did? But it's like 350 Canadian or 450 Canadian or something. Mm. And it's in Germany or somewhere. Maybe wow. it's the same people. <laughs> so this is the size of the plug. Let's see if I can even hold it properly. So tiny. Mm -hmm. There's the size of the new plug. Uh, this end goes into the ColecoVision and this is a normal, um, oh, is it USB-C? Did I read it out? Is it? It is USB-C. Wow. Very nice. So modern, all the way up to date. <laughs> now let's compare it <laughs> to the old <laughs> one. New bricks. So, <laughs> there is comparison, yeah. a size comparison of the old, huge, massive ColecoVision brick. And I think it was so easy to make because USB is uh, 5 volts, right? And this supplies 5 volts. Mm. So it just needed to do a conversion to a 12 volt as well internally inside. So it, it could fit. Well, I'm not an electrician. Mm. Um, but uh, I, I'm guessing that it was somewhat easy to just convert over to a 12 mm. when this already has a 5 and this is a 5 as well. So that is very exciting so that I never have to use this huge brick again. This is one of the biggest power supplies, I think, of any video game system. That's pretty big. Yeah, it is a melee weapon <laughs> that you can kill your opponents with if you lose in ColecoVision. <laughs> so I'm going to put that back in the box and that is another piece to the puzzle that um, will get me up and running soon and we'll be doing some uh, games here and there from the Coleco. That's exciting. Some homebrew games. Yeah. So I wasn't wanting to do it before getting this. Awesome. Um, so you're going to start so. uh, planning those then? Yeah, yeah. Throwing them in once in a here while. Yeah. Uh, Rena Foot, did your pizza come? <laughs> <laughs> he was waiting for pizza and it was like oh. 45 minutes late. Oh, Wait. that's not good. Yeah. yeah. Hungry. Mm. Hungry arena foot. Um, mm. So I'm after a 90 minute, after a 90 minute pizza delay. Oh my, oh, God. my God. That's way too long that's to too wait long. for pizza. I would be so hangry. Oh, so oh. hangry. <laughs> um, and I wanted to ask people out there um, if you could post either, well, post later, either under the YouTube after I posted or in the Atari Age forums or on Facebook on my Facebook page on the zero page homebrew Facebook page how to take apart mm. and fix a CX80 tr Atari trackball because there are no visible screws and I don't want to be plying it apart That's there mm -hmm. um, are they under the padded feet or do you have to pop open the sides and get a little uh, pry bar underneath that because mm. I can't figure out how to get in there. I would or is there a screw under the sticker? No. Or I, what is happening? Yeah, yeah, this yeah. cat might have to go out. Oh, poor cat. Yeah. It might be under the feet, but the feet look pretty. Pretty solid. Yeah. And I don't want to take the feet off if Actually, they don't. Actually, this one's already shifted a bit, so you might want to try that one. Um, I suppose it says screws are under pads. Okay. Yeah, I would I would. Those assume. look like pretty standard pads. Yeah, well, you I could just get a you them. could just get an adhesive and restick them back on, like peel them yeah. off and then um, clean it, and then um, get the ad adhesive stickers and double sided tape or something and stick them back on. Yeah, because this uh, the trackball is having a little trouble with up and down once mm -hmm. in a while, so you just have to shake it and then then it's fine. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, it's it's really smooth and works really well. Pretty good. Yeah, Spins pretty, pretty well. Good. Yeah. Um, but I just, I need to get in there and I don't know what. Something's going on in there and it's probably somewhat simple, mm -hmm. just in a little adjustment. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hand that to you and we're going to dive Ooh. into the game, starting There's with Miller. Buttons. They're both the same on the Atari. Yeah, no, no, it's just. I think they cool. can be different yeah. on uh, the computer version. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's just, well, Atari is a one button uh, system, right? Oh, and Valenzan is a crossover person. Ah. Uh, came over from uh, a stream I did yesterday. Yeah. Uh, right. he played, he's played a decent amount of homebrew stuff, but only for Nintendo system. Yes. Never Atari. Yeah, there, well, there's a fairly yeah. decent uh, Nintendo homebrew scene. Oh, pretty, pretty. Scene. Yeah, pretty big. Um, more hacks than anything else on the Nintendo, I not, think. Not original games. Yeah, because as you get more advanced in newness yeah. of consoles, you have to get more complex. Yeah, the complexity goes With up. Um, programming. Mm -hmm. um, and it takes a lot longer because there's more detailed graphics mm -hmm. and sound. So um, you have to put a lot more work into that side of things. I mean, the program behind it is, it's still programming, so. Mm -hmm. um, so let's dive into Millipede, which was an arcade title mm -hmm. as well. So, oh, I don't know if I have game number one up. Let me just get it ready here. So I have all the right graphics up. There we go. And we'll be up and running in a second. There we go. You guys are seeing it. We'll see it in a second. Millipede Trackball. So they've altered the title screen there. So you probably... I, I've noticed you can't press the button to start in most of these, but you never know. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you can. Select starting score. Well, zero. Probably. Oh, let's get the sound going. That. Let me know if it's too loud. I'm going to turn it down a bit. Ah! So it's pretty much avoid everything and shoot everything. And you've got the DT, which is like a big explosion. <laughs> oh, you got this it. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and when they get to the bottom, they generate another little piece. Yeah, so I've you don't want to let them get to the bottom too much. <laughs> I didn't realize I can move. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is a complex one. Lots game. of separated little pieces of millipedes. Ah, you got me. Valenzan says, yeah, mostly ROM hacks of Mario games for me, although there's some original things out there. There's some really good Mario ROM hacks um, that I've seen on some other channels. I'm going to bring the microphone down a bit. Sorry. Ah! Mean. It's pretty high up. Way too high. That's exciting. <laughs> nope. Nope. Good time to cross the park. Cross? So let's take a look. Millipede, millipede, I suppose it says. Okay. Um, so let's read about millipede. This hack was done by uh, Jeff Johnson, which is. Oh my goodness. What's his name? Omega Mate. Omega, oh, I have it in the last. Omega <laughs> Matrix, yeah, I almost said it right. I didn't want to say it wrong, though. Oh, game over. 10,311. Wow, awesome movement. This is the type of game that the rollerball is very made precise. for. It's very precise. Yeah, you do have to get used to the movement, how fast, the acceleration. I haven't played a lot of millipedes, so oh, this is new nope, for me. Starting score zero. Set that down. <laughs> There you go. That's so funny that you can... Oh, does it change the, the... The hardness. So you kind of... It kind of like start at level three or whatever, right? So you don't have to do those beginning levels. And I guess it gives you like an average score for getting that. Oh, you got the spiders. Almost got died. Almost got died. Almost got died. <laughs> oh, arena foot's on the scores. Awesome. Oh, I didn't read out uh, the Twitch <laughs> subscribers. Oh, this is um, I want to thank uh, Charles and Check. Gretums, Ground Trooper, I supposed to, Jeffrey2123, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Retro Happy Hour, Tiki Dan K, and a new subscriber, Train Tech86. Thank you very much, Train Tech86. I have not heard your name before. Must be a lurker. Yeah. <laughs> and all the people in the uh, chat right now, Arena Foot, Retro Happy Hour, Valazan, <laughs> Mr. Fix. Uh, yeah, pretty quiet day today. People are taking some time to themselves, I think. Oh, Ooh. tough. I feel like I'm oh, worse. constrained. Oh, beginner's luck. Ooh. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. So Millipede is a 1982 At uh, arcade game made by Atari, so they mm. own this title. And is the sequel to the arcade hit Centipede. 
with more gameplay variety and a wider array of insects than the original. The objective is to score as many points as possible by destroying all the segments of the millipede as it moves towards the bottom of the screen, as well as destroying and avoiding other enemies. Right into it! The game is played with a trackball and a single fire button, which can be held down for rapid fire. Oh, that's a lot easier. <laughs> Things you, I wish I had uh, found no, out before. about. Yeah. yeah. And a lot less noisy. Uh, yeah, I suppose. So what is that link for? Is it linked to something? How do you do links? Oh, that just goes to a web page. It's weird that it converted .nes to a... Oh, no, that didn't go to anywhere. Oh, well. Any poll question tonight? No, no poll question tonight. I didn't think of one tonight. So now you can start with the rapid fire. You can probably do a lot of it. Well, I'm Oh, you don't want to hit the DTs. What are the DTs? It explodes everything around it. Oh, isn't like that a it, good thing? Well, if there are things around it, but you've been hitting it. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah. But that's hard to time off. It is. And it's... <laughs> the trackball, in some ways, does make it almost more challenging. It's, because it's, it's quick. It, and it's fiddly. You touch it and it goes up or it goes down. And... Oh, my goodness, it's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> You're like all over the place. Uh, let's read more about Millipede the arcade game because this is, I think, fairly close to the arcade game. I know Centipede was pretty good. Uh, so it was designed by Ed Log. Uh, the programmer for the Atari 2600 was Dave Stogus. That was the original programmer that this hack was made from. Um, so some of the new enemies is an earwig, same as the scorpion in Centipede, which was the thing that goes across the screen, making mushrooms poisonous so that the millipede will charge straight to the bottom at of the screen after touching them. Oh, okay. Um, that happened in the original game, too. Or the centipede. Oh, the original. oh they, what is that guy? I don't know, he's like a little car. Um, a bee, same as a flea in centipede, which goes down the screen. Dropping mushrooms in a vertical line requiring two shots to kill. Oh, exactly. He comes down and then goes across. <gasps> Into the spider. I find it's a good idea to stay centered and not go to the sides because the spider will come out. And I do, you. I do find the trackball. You have, it's almost too sensitive a little bit. You yeah. should give it a try. Where, where did you leave off? Um, B spider inchworm. Spider. I don't think I saw okay. said spider. Okay, spider. Same behavior as in centipede, bouncing irregularly across the player area and eating mushrooms. Multiple spiders can appear at the same time on higher levels. Oh, multiple spiders. Yeah. Oh, there's oh definitely boy. multiple spiders. You hit Inchworm. When hit, slows all enemies for a short period of time. Beetle crawls what? around the player area That's for a while. Beetle, then. That's the beetle. That you saw. And then climbs up and leaves the screen, turning any mushrooms it touches into indestructible flowers. When hit, everything on the screen scrolls down one row. Dragonfly drops mushrooms while zigzagging down ah, and can be saw. destroyed with a single shot. Ah, oh, spider didn't move quick enough. I'm doing terrible. Mosquito bounces off the sides of the screen as it descends diagonally. When hit, everything on the screen the scrolls beetle. up when roll. Oh, that's interesting. Um, and then DDT bomb stationary. DDT, it looks Whoa. like... Whoa! Yeah, it looks like just <laughs> DT. DT, yeah. yeah. It doesn't have as much room on this. Uh, can be blown up with one shot, destroying all enemies and mushrooms within the blast radius. Whenever the mushrooms scroll down, a new bomb is added to the top of the screen. Up to four bombs can be in play at one time. The player scores points for shooting the bomb itself, as well as increased values for any enemies destroyed in the blast. This game must have had extra RAM in it. Um, to, s to keep track of all the mushrooms on the screen. Um, I didn't look into them. Oh, there was one piece that oh, I'm just gonna have to those. Those are bees, oh. right? They must be bees. That makes sense. Oh my god! It's getting crazy. Two shots to kill these. Yeah, it is. It, 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 this is a much more challenging game is, than centipede. I I I find it very fast. Is there a, is there a um? Is it Switches? on the high switch or something? It might be. Is it? It is, it is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. 
Sarah cart ram. So it did have extra ram. Mm. Thank you, Ice Posta. Mm. Oh, I got that it for life. That was a good job. You got, you got a whole centipede in one uh, DTT. Almost. Or DDT. 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 Or DT. So. Or DT in this one. <laughs> DDT. That's the stuff that uh, they show in the films where kids are running after the, the, uh, the thing spraying. Mm. The truck full of DDT. Mm hmm. That was get, for, for getting rid of pests mm -hmm. right? or bugs. Apparently, it is. Um, is it DDT was very good Whoa. at getting rid of bed bugs. Bed bug? Yeah, I think and so. And then when they stopped using it, that's why there's such a bed bug epidemic. Oh. Oh, I thought you couldn't hit the mushrooms. Oh, yeah, you can destroy them. No, no, I mean, if your body hit them, I thought you would die. Oh. But I guess not. Because no, no. you're running right through them. It's like I keep them. Oh, my God. This is out of control. It is out of control. It's a really good conversion, I think, though. It's, it's like, yeah. a lot of action going on. <laughs> oh, my God. Too much. Action. It's a lot happening at once, I, I have to say. You're doing very well. Barely hanging on. <laughs> Barely hanging on. Oh, oh, the spiders. The spiders are the worst. But I'm doing... Oh, yeah. yeah I suppose this says this is his favorite... Uh, Atari game. Yeah. Wow, there's two spiders now. <sighs> oh my god, this is well. Ooh, that's why. Back. Oh, oh they're back. too. Killed them quickly. Oh my god, they're all over the board. Oh my god. Oh, they're oh they're getting rid of the yeah. Mushrooms. They're the dragonflies. They know you you it it forces the screen downwards. It went up though. Or yeah. Well, it depends on your the perspective. The screen goes downwards. Yeah. Yeah. It's scrolling it down. Scrolls down. Another extra life. Wow. Okay. So extra lives are lost and gained fairly quickly. Well, because <laughs> it's so crazy. When you get to a certain level, yeah. Is there a level? Uh, a, a number of lives left somewhere? Yeah, it was on the left, but I have zero. So oh, you've zero. There's nothing. Oh. <laughs> wow. Damn it! Not bad. Not 50, bad. Fifty thousand one forty-three. That is fast paced. You should see it at 350,000 with four spiders and still getting harder. Oh my god, I can't even imagine. That is tough with two spiders. It's just the screen is just filled with it. And with my Tart starts turning into like a shmup where you're more dodging things than mm -hmm. shooting things. Yeah. And the shooting just happens to be taking place at the same time. Very close to the arcade game uh, gameplay was, yes. The programming in this is unbelievably good. Like just there's so much going on. Like little tons of little separate things that are happening that the game is keeping track of. Seven, eight, forty four. That's terrible. <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting worse. As no, time I wasn't goes on. I wasn't holding it down for a while there. Oh yeah. I think there's definitely need to time it with the DTT. Uh, it helps, but it's or hard. DDT. 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 I work with a chemical called DTT at work. Oh, that's so why you keep, <laughs> I keep saying that's DTT. That's why you keep saying that. I was like, I keep saying DTT. Um, so changes from the original game, the original Atari game, for this hack is one change has been uh, one change has been made from the original. On the title screen, the type of controller selected is displayed. So it did um, show TB, trackball. Oh, oh. It's like a mouse to me, or a little um, ah. little hamster, little blue hamster. I was just thinking that. I'm like, what is the hamster doing at the bottom <laughs> of the screen? That does make me Cute laugh. Cute little hamster crawling along the screen, but it's a beetle. Oh. I find I over I over roll oh, quite a bit in this game. It was so packed and all RAM used, it was said trackball can never be added. Ooh. That's true because um, for these trackball games, every um, line, the trackball needs to be pulled of what's going on in the trackball. So there's not a lot of time in between drawing the screen left over to pull the trackball. So I can see why this would be a game where you wanted to you would have to use up every millisecond of time to be able to make this happen. And um, somehow, uh, Jeff Johnson was able to do it. Unbelievable. ArenaFoot says, still would like to see a GCC Millipede trackball one day. 
that apparently has better graphics, but not as good gameplay. I would just admit. Even though they proliferate the screen with more mushrooms all over the place. Yeah, this is, this is a really good game. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> I've never really put a lot of time into playing Not this doing game very before. well, but I'm having a lot of fun, so, you know. And it's way better with the trackpad. Oh, <laughs> right can into go it. Too fast. You're doing better now. Oh, not really. Your no, score's no, better than ever? No. No? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did better last time. Oh. No, 11, 232. You're at 16. <laughs> that was terrible. One more. One more. One more. <laughs> Okay. Then That's I how you know it's a good game when I don't want to give. More. I don't want to hand over the trackball. <laughs> yep. Oh, you're starting at thirty thousand. Oh, you did I? Do that? No. My bad. Oh, I'm on A game difficulty A. Uh oh. I'll just kill myself here. There you go. Let's go to B. What is? Because I think. Okay, you ready? There you go. <laughs> Let's try that again. Thank you very much. Because I think uh, something might have been... Let me look up the original instructions. We might have been playing a variation that's harder. Because it is, was pretty hard. But maybe we're just bad at it. Because <laughs> apparently, uh, who is it I supposed to get up to 350,000? Or at least saw somebody playing at 350,000. Uh, let's read the instructions. Left controller, game select. No, no, it doesn't say anything. This looks like the whole manual. It doesn't say anything about the difficulties. Anybody out there know if the difficulties have anything to do with the game options? Because I'm looking at the instructions and it doesn't say anything. variations of 0, 15, and 30,000, which we saw. Um, after the first game, you can start up with 15,000 points below your previous high score. Oh, interesting. Hmm. 12, 4, 9, 3. Ah, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite hack fact. Joystick 2 was used as two bits of RAM for this conversion. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's funny. Because... They got two bits of RAM out of the joystick. Of, yeah, because there was a... You can only play one player, so... There, yeah, there is yeah. only one player in this. Yeah. There was a thread in the Atari Age forums mm. that was going through every tiny place that they could find a way to store S to things. To save, save memory, yeah. Like, it was totally impractical. Save, yeah, Because memory. you wouldn't be able to play games. Yeah. Using these things, and they were storing bits in joystick ports. <laughs> <laughs> and bits here and there, but it would totally destroy any type of game. Mm. But it was really funny to watch people try and find these little spaces. Now, what you can do, if you're really good at these games, is kind of make a tunnel for the centipede to go through. Mm. So and just set it watch, up. Watch, uh, you have to hit the mushrooms quite a bit for them to disappear, though. You do, like three or four times. Three or four seems. times. It seems, uh... Mm, it's easier in Centipede to do this, but... Yeah? You kind of, um, make a little path for them to wiggle their way down. Oh, got it. Yeah. That was quick. That was a quick level. Yeah, if you're lucky enough and you hit you the... DT? Yeah. The DDT. 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 Oh, there's two little hamsters. What is happening? <laughs> Things are going chaos. nuts. Oh, it's chaos. Do they give back the DTs? After yes, you do. Uh, if it scrolls up, if the screen scrolls up and down, I think. And uh, I was trying to shoot him, and I was just dumb. Why am I scoring so high so quickly? Well, because you destroyed them with the DDT. DDT. Yeah, DDT. Ah. Come on, get it! Come on! Oh my god, look at that. There, there. See yeah. how it's coming down? Yeah. You kind of sit below that. There's some slowdown in this game. Yeah, the, some of the some of the bugs if you hit them. I've never seen slowdown in a twenty six hundred game. No. Where it slows the action down to calculate mm. things. Oh, yeah. that's it. Um, I want one more. Twenty two one nine five. That was a very but you're, fast you're 50, scoring you game. But your fifty went really quickly. Like you're, you're Why 50. does it start at thirty all the time? That's really nice. 
here. Arena Foot says extra man for each 15k score. 15k, okay. Good to know, good to know. Well, but the, 50 the divided by three. Really well. yeah, 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 I kept getting extra lives. Yeah. Which very helpful. Yes, I can't figure out oh. what to stare at. The bottom of the screen or the top? I know. Because if you ignore one or the you other, can't. you run into trouble. Oh my god. You have to hit them twice, but then there have to be no That's mushrooms in your way. Yeah. I feel like the mushrooms take like four shots. They seem to. They seem to be very hard to destroy. Is a oh. regular centipede like that, or do they get destroyed? No, regular centipede is a lot easier than that. Uh, I think they only take like one or two shots. Mm. Yeah, they're, oh. they're pretty hard. Oh, I don't need to press that. 9498. An actual game where you can press the joystick to restart. Mm, Most of them you have to reach Four over. Four hits to destroy a mushroom in the arcade, oh, according nice. to Mr. Fix. Oh, so it's loyal to the arcade. It seems like more than that, but it's probably not. It just seems to take a lot of shots. Yes, it does. That's re oh. And one you thing it does over Centipede is that some of the segments move faster than other segments of, of, these, of the millipede. Guys. Mm -hmm. They just take too many shots, and there's too well, the many mushrooms is, is in the way. Well, the problem is, if there's a mushroom, yeah, in front of you, you're not hitting it. So and they and the mushrooms don't block them coming down, so they have no disadvantage. Oh, oh you why hit did the I hamster! He bites you. <laughs> there, 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 there. See that? Yeah. Yeah. So if I can get them to tunnel down there again, or you can, or either use the, the DDT, or you, you get them to tunnel. But look how many, look how many mushrooms you have. I know it's, it's like impossible to hit them. And it and also then of course, makes them go down. Every time quick. you hit them, they create a mushroom too. So yeah, it's a challenging <sighs> game. <laughs> Super challenge. You want one more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One two nine one zero. I also try and set up a tunnel. Mister Pick says yes. It doesn't track your shot count like the arcade. Hmm. Mm. Shot count. Keeps track of shots. Hmm. So if you move after three shots, then coming back you need four more. Oh. So. Oh, I see. In this one, if you start shooting something else and then come back to a mushroom, it forgets that you've hit it three times. Because it has limited memory, mm. of course. So that would take a lot of memory to count how many shots each individual mushroom has been hit. So, yeah, I can forgive. <laughs> I just stay clear. I know, but sometimes you can't. Imagine this on the joystick where you move at a constant rate and you can't move out of the way quickly. Wow, slow down. That's so weird to see on a 2600 game. So weird. Does anybody know of any other games that have slowdown in it on a 2600? I've never seen it. Those waterfall of waves can earn thousands. Yeah, that's what happened when I got. But like a couple <laughs> games ago where it went from zero to fifteen thousand so quick. Hamster, the hamster, it's coming. Oh, ah, so the many things. The spider just goes right for you. James, sometimes. you need to try the full field centipede game hack. It adds a difference to the game. It starts off with a full screen, screen. of mushrooms. Why would I want to start Why? With, that's like torture. <laughs> a full screen uh, of mushrooms? Oh my god. Yeah, that's a lot of mushrooms. So, how is the sound, everyone? Is it magical? Is it amazing? <laughs> I can't wait to hear it after the show. Mm -hmm. Because it is uh, supposed to be a lot better. I haven't done extensive testing, but I was just like, oh my god, amazing breakthrough. I've been having terrible sound all this time. Actually, amazing sound for a webcam. I was quite amazed how good it was. So, next one up is Reactor. And I think I've played the original. I'm pretty sure I have the original of this game. So let's turn that on. I always like to show the full intro of the game. Because it has things like that. Reactor trackball. So this is definitely a Thomas Yentz. Because all of his had auto-sensing. 
because there's different um, types of trackballs. Because you can get mice. You can play these some of these games with a mouse. An Amiga mouse. Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. And there, um, there's crosshair games. Those are really good with a mouse. I suppose this is sound is not Darcy ready. Oh, no. <laughs> You're already it's... clipped with a loud sound. Oh, you must have a down. little high. I'm going to turn it down a bit then. Yeah. Check, check, check. Yeah, it did go up high. Check, check. Yeah, not Darcy well, that's ready. You la- that's you loud. Is, uh, we... is Darcy particularly loud? Darcy's, <laughs> Darcy's very loud. Um, this uh, is a more... Sensitive? Less sensitive, I Oh, guess. I see. More tolerant, let's say. We'll more call tolerant this mic. the Darcy mic then. And, yes. Uh... <laughs> and we are switching over to this mic because the other mic was not really meant for this type of situation. I have many more... It's a shotgun mic, right? Yeah, that's a really one. sensitive okay. mic. So mm-hmm. I, I have other microphones, so I might try a, another one than this one. Yeah, see if um, it works. So press the button. Whoa! Craziness! I don't know yet. Spider? I have not played this game. Or I have played it very shortly, and I'm not sure how to play it. Oh, you died. So let's read about Reactor. Is it a two-person game? I don't think so, because you need two trackballs. You died! Did I? Reactor! 2015 trackball hack by Thomas Yens. Reactor is a raster video arcade game released in 1982 by Gottlieb. The objective is the game to cool down the reactor core without being hurled by magnetism and repulsion by enemy swarms swarms of nuclear particles. The game was ported to the Atari 2600 by Charlie Heath and published by Parker Brothers the same year. Reactor was developed by Tim Skelly, who previously designed and programmed a series of vector arcade, uh, vector graphics arcade games for Cinematronics, including Ripoff. It was the first arcade game to credit the developer on the game's title screen. So I think we might have to read about this game because it's not yes, straightforward. Yes, because I cannot figure out for the life of me other than going into each corner. I suppose it says I told you you needed to read before. <laughs> well, we'll read Whatever while I'm playing. doing. It's wrong. <laughs> You keep on dying. Like, I there's no enemies on the screen, are there? Have you pressed the button at all? Have you pressed the button? No. Okay. Nothing. Oh my god, the instructions are massive. Oh my god. Okay. All I know is things flash if I hit the side of the oh, screen. Oh, okay. The object of the game is to destroy as many nuclear particles before they can smash your ship and do the kale wall and to knock down as many sets of control rods as possible to stop the meltdown. Are you crashing into the sides over and over? No. Oh, well, you're moving. Stay in the middle. See what happens. Stop moving around. Don't touch things. No, stop touching things. <laughs> Just so bad. <laughs> uh, the joystick. Inside the reactor. This is the heart of the nuclear reactor. Your ship must battle enemy particles on the field. Yeah, maybe just to reset. Reset on console. Reset on console. Oh, there. Oh, were you not actually playing the game then? Oh, thank you. Stop it from hitting things? (laughs) Uh, Inside, playing. At the beginning of the game, each player receives three ships and three decoys. However, only one ship will appear on the screen at a time. The remaining ships are indicated uh, by the number displayed in the top right area of the screen. You have two. Uh, the number of decoys appears in the top center, zero. So those are gone. Uh, well, the number of enemy particles to go, number of particles not yet on the screen is the top left. So two, one, zero. Uh, to start the action, press the game reset. So you weren't even actually playing before. No. <laughs> You're I'm... just moving around. Demo version. Uh, I suppose it says you lure and push those balls into the control rods on the left and right. So oh, dots. those ones. Ah, oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, so inside the reactor, there are... Oh. Those particles may be small, but they're powerful. Luckily, your ship is equipped with an energy field. The shield is always up, offering needed protection. Using your ship, knock enemy particles into the kill walls. Well, they when they hit the wall through enough force, they disappear. But beware, enemy particles gain more speed and weight from one round to the next, okay. making them more difficult to destroy. 
Inside the reactor, there are two sets of control rolls extending from the kill walls, control rods. One set is on the left, one set is on the right. These rods control the intensity of the nuclear reactor within the reactor's core. In order to stop the meltdown, you must try and smash these rods with the enemy particles. By knocking the particles against the rods with enough force, using your ship, you can destroy these rods. When you completely destroy one entire set of control rods, the core will sink. Destroy both sets and you receive an additional decoy. So you just start smashing those into the dots. I don't dots know into how dots. to get them to go towards you, though. Looks like Cosmic Chasm for the Vectrax. Does it? I bet this was made for the Vectrax because it's a vector game. This is definitely an unusual game. It kind of looks I'm like apparently it. hitting things into the core now. I was doing much better when I originally started. Cosmic chasm. Kind of. Yeah, it does look like that. Yeah. This little center thing. <laughs> oh, the instructions are <laughs> totally different. No, this... It looks like it, but I don't think it is. The instructions make it look like... Push particles and keep them in the rooms without going in. And huge points! <laughs> so you figured out some things? Sort of. Those. Oh, you disappeared anyway. What? No, I'm not. Oh, you hit the center. You're not supposed to hit the center? Button drops lures. Don't press button. <laughs> You're not supposed to press the button? Uh, once the battle begins, the, the reactor core continues to expand. Uh, keep an eye on it as you fight to destroy the enemy and blast control rods. If you're not successful in destroying all the enemy particles, or at least one entire set of control rods, the core will keep growing, leaving less space for battle. So you have to destroy at least one set of those. Oh, at least one, one set? Left. There you go. Okay, you're, you're good there. Uh, bonus chambers. Well, we haven't even played the game once. Decoys. Your ship is also equipped with a clever device called a decoy. A decoy draws attacking enemy particles away from your ship and attracts them to itself. By pressing the red button on your joystick, you can release a decoy anywhere within the walls of the reactor. Remember, you begin the game with three decoys. Position your ship in the area you wish to release a decoy and press the red button. When you move your ship away, the decoy will appear in its place. The best places to release a decoy are next to a kill wall. So it lures the guys in to those rods. What the hell is going on? So you're hitting the sides of I'm not things. hitting the sides of things. I saw you were up in the top right corner yeah, but when that, you died. Yeah, but that didn't seem to make a difference last time. Well, because you were like... just moving around before. But why would that hitting the upper wall have anything to do with the core? If you hit the I core, it's a problem. Gameplay is different than CC, but it looks like the game. Yeah, it does look like the game. Yeah, see, I can't stop. Is it because I'm hitting the walls, or is it because they're eventually causing the core to explode? That's what I'm trying to... The, the only thing that seems to end the game is the core, if you don't smash them into the rods. Well, the core steadily increases. Yes. But it says at The only some way to point... stop it is to get rid of it one, at least one side. Oh, you have, you I one. must just There be... you go, and it went down. Now I must just be hitting the walls, because I hit the wall and the core exploded, so... Oh, you uh, hit the I wall. Hit the... Yeah. That's got to be it. Um, That's very confusing. A decoy cannot be destroyed, however, it will remain on the screen for approximately 10 seconds before disappearing. Why would you want the decoy? I hit the wall again. I don't it's very know. very sensitive. <laughs> oh, so you can drop one on one side and then go to the other side. But why would you do that? Um, uh, to make it do the, your, the work for you. Right? If you drop one there, and then take care of all the guys on the right, right hand side. Yeah, but they all, they're all they all drawn towards you. A and the decoy. Death by running into walls, or particles, particles push you into walls. Yeah, and that's what happens. It's occ occasionally the particle right. pushes you. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. So I'm going to drop one there. See? They're like doing the job themselves. Oh, yeah, they're... but they're attracted to the decoy All instead of, them. of you. It was right beside me. Yeah. And they're going for the decoy yeah, first. Yeah, but now they're hitting the core. 
You see what I mean? And then you hit the I wall. I smashed into it. Yeah. Oops. Oh, well, why would you want to drop a decoy if they're always... It's easier for, to attract them to you, and then you can direct them to the wall. Yeah. Uh, but if you put the decoy next to the wall... But you can see the core is getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, I'm in trouble if I don't get that last one. It's like playing pool. <laughs> Except with the balls are sentient. Oh, come on! Come on! Ah! Ah! Almost dead! Come on! There. Yeah. And then I go on the other side. Yeah. I can see this being um, better controlled with a joystick than a trackball. So. Yes, because the trackball is super sensitive. Stop pressing button. <laughs> <laughs> I won't press the button anymore. It's hard not it to press to the button. <laughs> it seems to be pointless to press the what button. Is, yeah, okay. Because the lure is just. So you just you it. don't you barely move. Yeah, I'm just like near it. Oh, then it resets. Yeah. Oh. But it reset and then now it's getting bigger. Is this supposed to be a fun game? <laughs> Like, I don't understand. It's All a, you it's, do is sit here and bounce these dudes into well, the Well, yeah, floor. and then if you accidentally hit the wall, then the core explodes, which doesn't make a, a lot of sense Like, is that it? Yeah. So and then I then I go over to this side and kind of stay near near the middle and just bounce these dudes into the dots? <laughs> I suppose says the joystick is worse control. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Like, seriously, is this it? Like, okay, now I've got those, and I move over here and sit. Yeah. And so you try basically and keep don't myself. move because I was trying to bounce them off me. So I was moving, and then I was hitting oh. things. But if you just stay in one spot, they just eventually hit the wall. No, this is level one. The center turns into a vortex. Oh, it sucks things in. Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, that adds a little bit, I guess. It's bizarre. It's a very bizarre game. It is. You're acting as the cooling rod in the nuclear. Look at all these dudes flying around. Come on, get on my left-hand side and bounce into the dot. There we go, we're all clear now. Now it's reset. One more to go. Come on, bounce into the dot. <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't get it. It's just such a simplistic, seemingly simplistic game for such a complex thing. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, one, more, one more dot to bounce into. Oh my! Oh, just oh, in time. Oh, so lucky. Okay, guys, over on the right hand side. There we go. How can we? Oh, and if I bounce them into the wall, they disappear? No, no they, they split. splinter. Oh. Push particles into rooms. You're not getting it. So I have to push them into these things up here? Did you put the decoy into the rooms? Let's go in here and put a decoy. Oh, oh you hit the wall. Okay, let's quickly I, go I, in there. I, I, uh... What did you... Yeah, see, you I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a fun game, game. It's just, just a bouncing, a bouncing game. game. It is just a bouncing yeah, game. Yeah, I'm finding it frustrating. It's it's not, uh... Little dots go in the room? Like, I, I'm i supposed to put these dots in... The, like, here, I'll put a little... There. Oh, you guys go in the room. Go in the room. Okay, now they're in the room. And now the core will just Now the core's gonna explode. They're not doing any good in the room. They're just they're wasting my time in the room. They need to get those dots. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, one more dot, guys. There we go. You can't go into rooms. I did. <laughs> but you do die pretty quick. There we go. Okay guys, over here, let's do our job. <laughs> Do you feel like you're hurting cats? I am. It's, yeah. It is over like here, hurting cats. Over here. Over here. Let me or throw like, the toy. Yeah. Come on. Come into this room. Come on. Get the laser pointer. <laughs> get the laser pointer. Speaking of, find, what happened to our cats? Find the little cat treats. Find the cat treats. Eat those cat treats. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. One more. Eat that little treat. Yay. Next level. 18, 17, oh I see, counts down how many I have to kill, or how many I have left to use up, 8, 7, uh oh, they're all dying, oh come on guys, get it together, quit dying, oh my god, there, just in time, you haven't even completed level 1, I must be playing it totally wrong, like what, what do I have to do, this is a very deep game, if you don't know how to play you will not see the changing levels. But what do I do? How do I... You said bounce them into the rooms, but I die if, if I go in the rooms. Oh my god. 
As, ja as James and Tanya played, the cats were destroying the house. <laughs> yes, they that were. That is pretty much a given. Okay, I... I don't... Oh, catnip! Ah! Uh, a little bit out. More, 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 more. The cats see it. More. Jeez, that's quite far. Quite Even more. Start the there you go. Let's see if they come. Okay, I don't get it. Um, I'm gonna read it a little bit more. Cause there's like a chart in here, and there's like four more pages of instructions. So, and I guess we haven't even passed one. It has very much game. It's deep and amazing. Catnip! Now you're gonna watch the catnip. There you go. Uh, round progressions. There are four levels with eight successive rounds in each level. The game begins in level one and continues to progress from round to round, level to level, until you, unless your ships are destroyed. If you wish, you may select any other level than number one, which we may have to do because... Just to see what the other levels are. I have no idea how to get to the next level. We should have read the instruction. I st I'm reading them, I still don't understand. Lure enemy particles close to the kill wall for easiest hits. Yes. Place your decoys by the kill wall for easier hits. Okay, yeah. Place your decoy in front of the bonus chamber. Oh, what is a bonus chamber? Let's read about that. There are two bonus chambers within the wall, within the reactor's wall. One on the left, one on the right. During the game, these chambers will alternate between top and bottom. When a particle enters and then leaves a bonus chamber, the chambers will switch their positions. Okay. Likewise, when your ship en enters then leaves the chamber an indeterminate number of times, <laughs> the kidding. chambers will switch. When battling enemy particles, try and force them inside one of the chambers with your ship. Once captured, the enemy particle will bounce off the walls many times before disappearing, unless it escapes. Each time a particle hits a wall, you gain extra 15 points. But an even better way to trap the enemy is with a decoy. Um, so you want to put a decoy near mm -hmm. the entrance of one of those and bounce them into those rooms. Don't hit the walls. Don't hit the walls. There. I can't because they're bouncing into me and they're yeah. bouncing So don't go walls. inside. No, Just... I don't go inside. Oh, they hit you inside? They hit you inside okay. if you're not careful. It was, was at the weird. end of the level. I didn't hit the. I didn't hit so, it. So, so bounce them inside. Back. Get near there and hit them inside those rooms. Oh, there you go. One's one. inside. Now it's bouncing around. You're getting points. Getting points. Oh, it's almost escaped. Okay, so that's and then points. It, and then it, but how do you progress a uh, level? Then I hit the wall. Rena said, May, "Maybe you need a stronger drink before playing this." Yeah. Game. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So the bonus chamber didn't tell me how to get to level two. How do you get to level two? Am I at level two or am I le at level one or zero? You're it making says two there. You're making fun of the game. Yeah, because we don't know how to play. <laughs> how do we get to level two? We've I I killed so many of those rods and it just kept doing the same thing over and over again. Mm. Guide your ship in a clockwise direction if it should be caught in a vortex. We haven't seen a vortex yet. Um, remember to watch the number of enemy particles to go, yeah, to keep track of each round. So you have nine left to kill at this point. Five, four, three, zero. It's almost over. Oh, oh it's, it's, no, it's not getting points. Zero. Now it's the next round. But it's the same. You pushing the enemy, it is pushing back. Yes. But all I've read is that you destroy those rods, which I did. I don't get it. Scoring, yeah, bonus chambers. Okay, we're going to progress to level 2 after you die. And just see what level 2 looks like and see how it changes. Okay. Oh, there's more rods to get. Okay. Another one of those awful BB games, lol. Even though it's not a homebrew game. <laughs> it's 
not. Oh. Well, no, it's not at home. It's this is a this is a hack of an original Atari. I feel like like did I lose? Why why does it play music every once in a while? You did. You did lose. No, or did you? No, I no. didn't. I didn't lose a life. No, you're still good. You still got two lives. Oh, now you lost a wall. life. Yeah, because I yeah. hit the wall. I don't like that hitting the wall thing. You it's need to stop weird. dying. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I suppose it's very fed up with this. <laughs> like you're playing it all wrong. Does it just keep going? I, I think you're doing, like you're killing the rods, which seems to be, and you're getting points. That seems to be the point of it. Like you I bounce the yellow guys out. into the rods. There you go. Four more to go. Seems They seem to be hitting them. There are three. And then, then this happens when you kill them all, and then you get another round. But, and I don't seem to have a decoy anymore. Use them all up. Maybe. Yeah, you have zero. One more to go. There you go. R7, RC7E, just subscribe with a tier one sub. Thank you, RC7E. You are the best for supporting Zero Page Homebrew. Thank you so much. If the core gets too big, avoid the particles, and the round will end. So you've got one left. There you go. It so it resets after every round of particles, too. Not even just rods. Yes. And I don't understand this room thing. But yeah, I mean, as far as I can read... You just get more points. You just get points. I think it takes a lot of rounds to get to the next level, though. Are you being drawn in by the vortex? No? no not, not being forced at all? Maybe the particles are? I don't know. Maybe. You'll not progress if you don't Whoa. trap particles in the room. This is huge points and changes levels. Okay. Well, that would make sense then. Yeah. I'm getting, now I'm getting pulled in. The walls. It's weird though, because I could swear sometimes I hit the walls and it doesn't seem to care. Hmm. Oh, so there I hit the wall. You want to try? Um. Try a higher level. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I dropped the bomb right away. So this has nothing. Oh, it's invisible. I don't want to play invisible walls. No. I'll play that one. Next game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Arena Foot says, and now we know why the video game crash of 1983 <laughs> happened. Oh, see, there's two trapped in there. Get in there. No points being made. 214 points. 216. It's supposed to be 15 well, points. Well, you get you get some extra points when they die. Return for a full refund. Yeah. <laughs> Taking this back to Sears. Okay. Yep. No, we're done. We might revisit that at a later that date. That is finished. Sorry, we didn't do reactor justice. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult. I guess Post says, don't die and you will score. Yes, that's usually the intent of most games. If you <laughs> yeah. don't die, you will score. So we're going to move on to Space Master AX7. Sorry, that was... Okay. This one I had never heard of. And I've never played. Is this a homebrew or it's a hack? Uh, well, they're all hacks. They're all hacks. Okay. Um, I've never heard of this one, so... Some of... I think one in the last round was a hack of a homebrew. Mm. Um, but most of these are from... It's Rage! It's Rage. There we go. Trackball is cooperating really well today. I wouldn't do that too much. No? No, because it may stop working. Oh, properly. really? Yeah, I was having trouble, but we haven't had... Um... Oh no, another unheard of game! <laughs> This might be more straightforward. So this is... Oh, we skipped one. That's okay. We'll, we'll do this one. Space Master X7 uh, 2016 Trackball Hack by Jeff Johnson. Uh, this is... Uh, oh, this might be a... Uh, this might be a homebrew. I don't know. Let me read. Changes from the original game. Let's get the original manual here. Up. No, this is by 20th Century Fox, and it was put out in 1982. The controls. 
your third, uh, story. Um, the controls. Your assault ship was specifically designed to destroy Hyperion military bases. Assault ship movement is controlled by tilting the joystick. Tilting the joystick. Tilting. That's when the no nomenclature was not quite agreed on yet. Tilting the joystick would be like this. This is moving the joystick. <laughs> um, missiles are fired from your unlimited supply of ammunition by pressing the joystick button. Your ship will not move while the button is being pressed. A helpful feature for firing from inside the Hyperion, Hyperion base force field. Oh, it's one of those games where you're moving or firing. Yeah, you can't do And you can, can fire that. in any direction. Ooh, well, I love the colors. Well, really. I find tilt, it, uh, tilt the joystick. I'm tilting. <laughs> uh, the diagonal inside? is super hard. The Don't diagonal, shoot it. Shoot it, that dude. no, the diagonal is super hard to do with a trackball. Oh. So like, it, it seems to want to shoot up and down, but the <laughs> there you go, there you go. It's very you have to keep spinning it because technically it's not moving until unless you're moving it. There you go, there you go, killing it. Very interesting. So the objective, your mission is to destroy as many Hyperion military bases as possible. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Um, you can fire missiles through the gaps, which you figured out, in the force field or from inside the force field. Yeah, that's a little bit more. That sounds dangerous. It does move pretty slowly. So you, you can get you can, But you can see, inside. okay, up yes. is easy. Side is easy. Diagonal, it will not hold the diagonal shot. So you have to constantly. There we go. There you yeah. go. Woot! Nice destruction. Yeah, I do like the graphics, but I'm not Very sure colorful. somehow this is the way it's supposed uh, to act. I think my trackball is a little off on the ups and downs, so that might be why. Maybe. Does it always default to the left? Or is it up? No, doesn't want to hold. There we go. You hacked the game! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you must quickly destroy the base uh, before the force field closes in on your assault ship. This is no easy task. The base can construct an electrified... Well, you do have to move once in a while, right? Oh, now it's moving around some more. Trackballs uh, games employ precise, fine control movements. Reactors all gameplay and no graphics. Well, that's pretty decent graphics. Mm, no. No? A little pretty bit blocky. Pretty simplistic. Are you not having to move much? <laughs> I'm not moving at all. Because those guys don't come after you. They just shoot they, off some randomly. Some of them do. Some of them do, but... Um... The closer you get, the quicker it's destroyed. Omega Matrix. Yeah. Oh, hello, Omega Matrix. This is, the, uh, this is the guy who uh, adapted uh, some of these games. Is this oh, one cool. of yours? It is. So he knows how to play this uh, game. Ah, gotcha. Welcome to the stream. Um, um, it's I, shooting I, pretty, I, <laughs> it's shooting just not pretty moving. quick, though. It is, actually. I'm not sure if this is exactly the intent of the game. But, uh, <laughs> Probably not. Uh, sitting and shooting from a diagonal seems to be a pretty good way to do it. <laughs> Screen yeah, display. Your current score is at the top of the screen. The battle takes place in the center of the screen. The number of assault ships remaining is shown in the lower left. So you've got two left. You've got 8,600 points. Uh, only nine ships can be displayed at once, but you can earn even more. Oh, nine. That sounds like somebody getting some high scores. Uh, the number of Hyperion bases destroyed is shown oh, in the lower it. right corner. So you destroyed two. Each white mark represents one base destroyed. Black Mart represents 10 base destroyed. Although th only 39 bases can be shown, you can keep on blasting for as long as you like. The energy meter in the bottom center registers the flow of energy from the Hyperion base. So it's kind of in the middle right now. James has had slowdown on Millipede. Yeah, it was really weird. It's like, no. show. And no. then it spot up again. Oh really? No, because yeah, there was there was one uh, there was one bad guy on Millipede that would actually slow the movement of the like it said the it. The whole board? No, yeah, it said it. Oh, it said okay. it would slow slow down the uh, enemies. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, it was one of the enemies if you killed it, it would slow um, everything. everything down. Okay. It was just one. So it was part of it. Um, each time one of your missiles hits the Hyperion base, the base loses energy. Uh, oh, so you have to continuously fire on it to get it down to the minus. And when you're not firing on it... It's going back up? Not all the time, though. Sometimes it goes back up. Uh, almost gone. Oh, it does move back up. Almost. Oh, I get it. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. How does it move up? Because right now it's not gaining energy. Oh, the inchworm slows down the game plan. Almost there. Oh. But I think you're playing it like safe. I am playing it very <laughs> safe. There we there go. We go. Well, that worked. I'm playing it very safe. Um, direct hits from a steady stream of your missiles to finish off the Hyperion base in seconds. Oh, he gets, gets energy back from you. Oh, from you? Yeah, I think so. Sometimes it doesn't, like it's not moving right now. But why? Oh, when you're not hitting it? It gets it. Ah. No, when oh. you're hitting it, it's, it's wall. force field, so it sucks energy that would from sense. from your shots. The high period base is protected by a pulsing force field. To get close to the base, you must fly your salt ship through one of the openings. If you accidentally hit the force field with a missile, the high period base will gain energy. That would make sense. See, uh, this is crucial information you need to be telling uh, me before we're getting I start through playing. the manual. We're getting through it bit by bit. It doesn't move when you're not firing. Ah, uh, yes. Yep, so... No hitting the force field. Yeah, unfortunately... Um, actually, um... The trap wall does make... I... No, but I can't. I can't get it to go on an angle. That's the problem that I'm running into. Well, go on the side, so it's straight No, because, the... because when it, it increases, it'll kill you. You'll hit the force field. Oh, so the corners are the only safe spot? Well, they're safe. Well, like, when it's the side. Uh, Hyperion defenders. Various Hyperion war weapons and warcraft will come to the defense of the base during the battle. Those guys that are coming out. Some are mindless projectiles. Others contain sophisticated tracking systems. Fireball shoots straight out of the base. In random direction. Oh, what's that do? Bouncers bounce randomly about space. Wanderers wander aimlessly through space. Homers home in on your assault ship. Unlike fireballs and heat seekers, homers will chase you again. Shields. At the higher level of play, the base will construct shields. Ooh, I haven't seen those yet. Oh, those are shields. Starting to construct them. Do we better... have to kill them? The shields? Uh, 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 missiles have no effect. Huh? Nope. You just have to shoot past them. I can't get that guy there. Oh, oh. I hit the shield. I think that's about it. Um, I suppose it says trackball makes it easier to sneak in and out of the center. You could only be able to do that when it's, when it's huge, right? Have you ever gone in? The yeah, center? but it, it's, it's quite challenging. Yeah, because it closes in on you pretty quick. And then it's really hard to get out. What is happening? I can't, I can't get the... You can't shoot it. I can't shoot it diagonally. I'm having trouble actually getting it to shoot in the direction I want it to. Yes, now the game gets interesting. Yes, that is true Omega Matrix. All the shields like, it has. I don't know what it is. I okay. don't know, uh, am I dead yet? Game over. I still have four more lives. No, that's how many you've destroyed. Is it? Okay, Now the game started over. Uh, I do find it hard to, to control the, the stream of shot with the trackball. Yeah, it's, it's, the diagonal it's is challenging. is challenging. Left and right seems easier. Oh, jeez, that was too fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just it's it's harder to get in there than it is to. Uh, oh my god, yeah. it is challenging. It's to get challenging in. to get in there, and then of course. Oh, there. You, once you're in it. Oh my you kill god, it really that's fast. so fast. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's a Destruction. That's a Wait till it's big. <laughs> yes. I think that's it's a lot more faster. of how it's the intent. really the intent of the game. Yeah. I find I find the trackball hard to control. Uh, it's been pretty good for me. No, but in general, I find it very sensitive. It is, it is. I, I, mean, I it's overshoot meant to be. a lot. It's meant yeah, to be sensitive. I overshoot it a lot. Oh, I almost moved it. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Way too. Too speedy. Yeah, too fast and loose. Yep. But uh, it's kind of experimenting. No, no, no. To see how, how it works. Just again. Destroy! There you go, that's fast. Woo! I think I'm just going to do that. <laughs> Shoot a little bit, and wait for it to get a little bit bigger, and destroy. Uh, 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 it does get harder when uh, you start chasing him. <laughs> Aww. Uh, Sorry. Oh, now he's sad. Thank you. Yeah, did you like your uh, target? Yeah, once it gets big enough, and if you can sneak in through an opening, then you're okay. Barrier is moving a lot faster. Yay! Yay. Yeah. Okay, this is not bad. This yeah. is not bad. We're progressing a lot faster. Now it's moving. Very yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, get up. score of 17,000. Yeah. My, my very conservative <laughs> very playing score. Slowly slow, making Slow, just, just whenever the hole was there, shooting into the hole. That uh, guy's hard. Bouncing around forever. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. Careful. Get out of here. Oh, oh last life. Ah. Oh, <laughs> that was terrible. No, you have to try. Yes. I'm gonna get another glass of water. Bring down the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Need a wine cooler in here or something. <laughs> she agrees. I think we've got the handle on the game. What it actually, how you're supposed to play. You just have to be a little bit more conservative when the, when the score gets a little higher. This is a really good um, use of a trackball. about when you start a game yeah. is that you can just hammer on it and he's not gonna take he's not gonna get more energy than he has at hundred percent. Yes. It's when it stops hitting is when you can just oh my god. <laughs> Things are just like, loose. Ah. It's hard when he really it's, starts sending a lot the of enemies, enemies at that, you. Yeah. Especially the intelligent oh, ones. <laughs> they're like going right for you. I don't know how I, I avoided them uh, as well as I did. I just stood in one corner and, and just shot. It does give you a bit of time to see which enemies throw them at it. Oh! oh and no. you see, the other thing is, as you move more, when you're trying to get into the, the force field or whatever that is, yeah. and... Uh, and then you're more likely to... Yeah, yes. good job! Almost at your score! <laughs> oh, oh. Too quick. No, the kamikaze moves don't work. Get out of here! 
Get out of here. <laughs> I need to get you that shirt. Get out of here. Get out of here. Damn oh, it. No. It's funny because, it, oh, there we go. It kind of continues the game on the same level. Yeah, it does. Into so you demo see what mode. They, 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 yeah. That's interesting. I haven't seen too many games do that. Yeah. It usually resets and starts playing a yeah, demo. Yeah, you're not seeing a continuation of that level. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is actually good. This it is, is a, a really fun, game. fun game. It is a really fun game. Do you want to play? No, you can. I I like my high school. <laughs> you like it your can, high school. It can oh. stand for now. Oh, oh my God. what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Spinning too fast on the track ball. The first levels are. Okay. At least it's quick. They're simplistic, yeah. I feel like the hole's bigger, too. I think it is, actually. It gets smaller as it gets on. Ooh, I need to practice killing those dudes. When it comes to the dudes, the corners are better than the, uh, than the edges because it will hit you. Yeah. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't sit on the no, yeah. Because it does. It does. It, it will hit you. Yeah. <laughs> I was hitting on the diagonal. Just sit in the corner and hit on the diagonal. I only moved if something came right for me. So. And if they hit the edge, they disappear, don't they? Uh, they go off yeah, screen. They go off screen. They Some never of them come do. Back. I mean, the the little um, lightning guy. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, he was challenging the lightning guy. Oh yeah. Because he bounces around. Oh, no, he's, oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh no! Careful! Don't move too fast. here. Oh! Oh, can you see this guy? Okay. Oh, a little bit. He brought a little toy. He brought his toy. Oh my god. Almost got Oh no! No! score stands. One more then. Gotta beat that high <laughs> score. <laughs> he's, he's killing his toy right now. <laughs> Stry. Oh, thank you. Thank he's playing fetch. He's playing fetch. Throws it up in the air for himself. Yeah, it's yeah. Very, very cute. It's a shame he can't see it. He just tosses tossed it, it about three mouth. feet in the air. Sweet. Oh my god. Glad the rollerball's working too. Or trackball. Trademark. Trackball. <laughs> <laughs> Decided and hammer on it. If you get in the right position, if those things come after you. You're in a good position to take them out. Because they, they come straight for you. You're shooting. And he just dropped it off. Oh, he's playing fast. He's he's like. Oh. Oh. I 
say that it's an advantage to have one of those guys go really around the screen. It's stupid. Oh my god. Stupid. He just keeps dropping it just slightly off. <laughs> just not quite enough for the people to see. Him. I know, he's so stupid. His cuteness. Come on, yes! Hasn't had a chance to build up any bits of things. Well, boy, I've got some extra lives. Seven five twenty five. Nice. Very good job. Well surpassed. <laughs> I'm happy to uh, retire on that. Wow, that's a good game. Yeah. That is that's a, a lot really of fun. nice yep. really balanced game. Yeah. So let's move on. Good job, Omega Matrix. Great job on that. <laughs> that one is going to be played in the future again, that's for sure. And now it is um the Challenge of Nexar. Okay. And this is another one I do not know. Thank you for making that, uh, or for uh, hacking that game for the trackball. Mm -hmm. Omega Matrix, and thank you for joining us today. So let's uh, get the next game up. We joined at the right time. Mm -hmm. Oh, not that game. There we go. Turn that on. There you go. Nexar move controls. Nexar TV move controls. There we go. Atari trackball. Decoded detected. Ooh, colorful. Let's see. Who made this one? Or who hacked this? This one is Thomas Jens. Uh, hacked this in 2015. Um, I found. I fixed a minimal bugs sound bug for the incoming beacons in all versions. Uh, the original PAL conversion was just two bytes from the time of change. I also converted the NTSC colors in my map. So this was a PAL game, it was not an NTSC game. Um, so I just suggest using the PAL 60 version as the games. The games become quite playable now. Definitely much better than with a joystick. Tip, chewing the saucers increases the chances of changes for a beacon. The initial beacon ch chance is 1 out of 16. It, it increases by 1 256th of each saucer, or beacon, kill. Uh, so, for example, after 16 kills, the chance has doubled to 1 8th. By the way, always the ROMs, all 9 can be found in the first place. So let's find out more about this actual game. Yeah, exactly. Game's too loud! Sorry. Thank you for letting us know. Each game is a little bit different in uh, volume than other games. Or they're a more constant sound. This one is a very constant sound. And it's hard to tell because I don't have earphones in to, to figure that out. Headphones in. As other Twitch stream gamers would do. Can't hear you. Check, 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 check. Oh, I guess you can hear me now. No, no, he, he posted that, that a before? while ago. Okay, yeah. sorry. 
Um, so this was originally put out by SpectraVision. The Challenge of Naxar, and it was put out in 1982. Seems to be a trend. Am I dead? I think you're dead. Am I avoid? What am I hitting and what am I avoiding? <laughs> because... Um, well, those blue ones are an impact exploding saucer. Um, or the ones with the circle. and the, that, that one you just shot is a radioactive beacon. Okay. Don't know what they do yet. At each... Come on, cat. Yeah. Oops. Okay. That definitely killed me. That killed me again. Um, so you have ignored our warning. Very well. Upon presentation of your encoded identity cartridge, you'll be sent the entrance of a space war. At each level, there are radioactive beacons. Those are the kind of square things. Mm -hmm. That must be destroyed. Must the, be. These bo beacons are guarded by impact exploding saucer which guard the beacons, so shoot those too. Um, okay, number of shield is at the bottom. You have two shield left. The time is in the middle. You have 99 time. I think you just restarted. Oh, level two. Um, your score is at the top, 1,200. Uh, bottom right, number of beacons. So those are your ultimate goals, is to kill the beacons. There's one. So now you have three left to kill. Uh, you start the level at level one of the warp entrance. The beacon indicator. You dead? Yep. Yeah. Shields are good. No, 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 it restarts on. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. I've restarted more than once. Oh, okay. Uh, use your joystick to aim at this incoming oh. saucers and beacons. The cr die quick. Yeah, because the, the, the debris can hit you too. Oh, so you so have to avoid the debris? Yeah. Unlike most games. Some games have debris, some don't. Yeah. Most don't, Sorry. actually. No. You must keep moving to avoid collisions with saucers or beacons. Each collision will cost you one shield. You have one shield left. Right. Okay, good to know. Uh, remember, you're racing against time and must destroy all beacons before time runs out. So you have three left to destroy. How often do beacons show up? Ah! Dead. Right in. Um, I don't know, once in a while. Destroying all beacons at any level will advance you to the next level. Mm. So you have three to destroy right now. Why is it moving so fast? Oh, it was a second. Mm. Started off really quickly. Well, you beat your score by 100. There you go. Two left to kill. There's one. So you're always, it always aims to the center of the screen? Yes. It's like... It's like Tempest? Kind of. It's where you're spinning around. Yeah, it's a it's a, a weird kind of force perspective kind of thing. Because you seem to be going in a circle all the time. Yeah, you can go around on and purpose? you can, yeah you. At first, I thought you were shooting from the bottom up, but then I realized you're actually shooting in a circle. Oh. It's shooting down. You're shooting down, so you can you can you shoot from above or below. I wish the graphics were just a tiny bit better in the Atari, so Tempest could be made. Oh, there's two in a row. Oh, I missed it. That's okay. They come back. Yeah. This Tempest would... Oh, I love Tempest. But the Tempest for the Atari 2600 is abysmal. Abysmal. <laughs> that would be an ultimate game if somebody could make that, but I just... I have no idea how you could make it. You'd have to use the playfield graphics, and they're just so low res that it just... I have no idea how you could do that without... Tempest with a driving controller. Oh my god, that would be the dream. Dream to do that. Do the um, do the paddles work on the 7800? Can you use a paddle on a 7800? Because it can plug in. Full bitmap mode Tempest. Ah! Ooh, full bitmap mode Tempest. Going back and forth. Would it be enough dots to represent Tempest? So how... how how many uh, dots across is bitmap mode? Oh, Data Warlock says, this is why I had a ColecoVision. <laughs> oh, that was just debris. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just debris come out? No. Oh, you shot it immediately. I shot something. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you could do it in full bitmap mode, like grayscale, and there's no color. It'd be kind of boring, but... Ah! Did I get it? But I was blown away when I saw... Um, Etch-a-Sketch on, on the Atari 2600. 
It was like super detailed graphics, but it was only monochrome. There's a Circus Atari 7800 paddles. Mm. Oh, okay, so you can use paddles in the 7800. So, was there Tempest? Ah, you got made? me. Well, was there Tempest made for the 7800? <laughs> now I'm, on, now I'm all on, on Tempest. Oh, they're coming out fast and furious. Really what level fast. are you on now? Uh, six or something? No. Paddles are driving. Right. Tempest needs infinite spin. Okay. Yeah, then driving. Driving. Nope. Oh, you're dead for it. Am I dead? Yep. Uh, a five. I had five left. Okay. 11,300. Yeah, Much better. Bad. It plays all 2,600 games in control. It's got Tempest the arcade game, but the bearings and the spinner are bad. Oh my god, the arcade game would be amazing. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> That's some stinky wine. Is it? Oh, it smells stinkier than normal. Well, it is my third glass. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting um, yeah, it is, shooting, because it? it's always pointing towards the it, center. It feels like it should be round. But yes. it's, it's just, because it, it, at first it confused me, and then I kind of figured out, oh yeah, I know you're, you're shooting in a circle and you're shooting down a tube. That's there, essentially what you're doing. You're yes. shooting down a tube. So you have to be at the right angle to hit what you're trying to hit. Oh, that yeah, goes in. Yeah. And then it comes That's out again. you know you're going to the next level. Is there any point in shooting the saucers other than points? Uh, you get points. I think that's it. But they don't really defend. Well, you, you don't want to hit cubes. them because they'll kill you. Yeah. And then their debris will kill you. But, but they other have nothing that... to do with the cubes, do they? No. Do you have to shoot a couple of them before uh, you get a cube? I don't know because sometimes two come out at once. Oh, okay. So that doesn't make sense. Oh, they're going backwards. Yeah. Every once in a while they go backwards. Oh, interesting. I quite like it. Yeah. It's a simplistic. There's kinda, not much to it. Once I kind of figured out that it, you, you're shooting in rounds, then then it got a little easier. <laughs> yeah. So I if, you, if they're going towards the top, out. you have to be at the top. You have to be at the top, and then I'm like, oh, because I was only shooting from the bottom, so I was only hitting the ones oh, at the bottom. Oh, okay. So yeah, no, it makes more sense now. Oh. Um, you can't really cross. That's dangerous to go like. Yeah, because you'll hit something. Yeah. Thirty-three hundred. Stinky wine equals reactor. Aged from 1983. <laughs> yes. Oh, let's not bag on a reactor anymore. Yeah. <laughs> we just don't know how to play it. I'm <laughs> sure there's, there's, uh, you know, once you... So I you, suppose to uh, seems to love reactors, so... You don't... figure out this, the more sophisticated... Uh, yes, the nuances The of nuances. Reactor, then the it's, smell, it's a little the body better. of it. It's the kind of game you want to watch someone else play for a bit, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Some games, you can just... Turn on and start playing, and you can figure them out right away. Yeah. And this others, one, it's straightforward. Shoot yeah, everything. you're shooting, and then yeah, it took a second. Shoot everything. Shoot everything. Okay. But uh, for me, once it um, yeah, like reactor, still you're playing Baffles it. You're going. Me. I don't. I don't understand. Yeah. This game, yeah. So. I mean, it's the uniqueness of this game comes from the display. Yeah, the display the, is cool. The way. It's and you know what? It's quite colorful. Really colorful. Um, yeah. I love the rainbows. I love I love the different colored ships. I think yep. it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Very small In right. a way, yeah, it does speed up though. Yeah. When you when oh, you hit yeah. the higher levels, um. You're doing better this time. Whoa. Yeah. Debris. Yeah, it does speed up, and once it once it speeds up, it does get. Is there some TV show or some movie with a character called Debris? Uh, you're remember. thinking of, I was um, like, heard um, that the other day, didn't we? Yeah, Or somebody that mis show? mistook somebody's name for debris. Uh, the one with Michael Sarah and, uh, oh. it is debris. <laughs> debris. It is. Uh, <laughs> I keep wanting to say Curb Your Enthusiasm, that's the wrong one. Um, oh, uh, uh, Arrested Development? Arrested Development. There's somebody named, De oh. Uh, yes, because, um, it, Tobias is kind of... Oh, yes. A uh, uh, heroin Actor. addicted uh, Actor actress friend. girlfriend is debris. Playing the Fantastic Four. Yes. Bad, bad yeah. version. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Her name's oh, debris. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you're thinking of. Yeah. I am. Oh, rested development. <laughs> we love you so much. <laughs> oh, did I die? Oh, no. 8,600. You got 11,300. I have to beat that. Want to play again? Is that you? what I got? Yeah. Really? Or is that the other game? No. 
It's your game. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess it was. Well, I, I played several games oh, okay. before to, I kind of, I played, I, yeah, I kept dying and then eventually I finally got better. So, as, as is what usually happens when you're yeah. playing video games you for the first time. You should get better as things yeah. progress. Oh, I'm almost not dodging the debris. I think it's because I've been neglecting to shoot the, um, or whatever they call it. The spaceships. Oh, yeah. Because I'm That's like, how well, you get extra points, yeah. It's not advancing me levels, so what's the point? But no. No. It, it goes for, it's for points. It's for points. If we're competing for points, I should be shooting them. So I was just like, yeah. I'll I just wait plus for says the... reactor is 4K, Nexar is 4K, Missile Command is 4K. Oh my god, I just <laughs> got died twice in a row. What happens? The sizes of all the. All the different games? Yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm presuming. I, I'm assuming he doesn't mean a screen resolution. No. So. <laughs> 4K means something very different on the Atari. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now they're coming out speedy. Yeah, you have to shoot them and move immediately. That's that's one of the tactics yeah. in You this do game. because of the debris. The debris will get you. Can you die from running into one yes. of those? Like, without? Yes. It? Oh, because I seem to be, like, bypassing them sometimes. No, I, I'm i pretty sure I've run into a couple. Does that make sense? Like, why would it yeah. allow you to smash into it? I mean, there is perspective. You should not be... No, you don't. I just smashed No, no, you didn't. I think, I think you can clip them. Okay. But if you run directly into them, that it seems... Because I'm positive I hit one without... It being debris, you know what I mean? So this yeah. is the advantage of a rollerball. You can go whoom and zoom mm. really out of the way quick. Now like now it gets super fast. Or get over to... Yeah, to the debris got you. Yeah. Ooh, 9900! <laughs> uh, how did you get such a high score? I don't know, my turn. Okay. <laughs> Unless you want to move on to the next one. But... Uh, in a second. Okay. This is our second to last one, so the next one will be the last one. 9900. Almost there. Sim wins, fatality. Yes, fatality on my behalf. I lost. No, I haven't won yet. She's still got 2,000 points on me, or 1,000 and a bit. Let's see, some more info on this game. Um, XR. So this was made by Thomas Yance. Good job, Thomas Yance. Yep, great job, as per usual. What else is on here? Oh, you can you can pause this game. Wow, that's pretty good for 83. Or 82? When was this one? 82. Not many games back then had a pause function. Uh, game 1 is practice, so we're essentially on the practice game. <laughs> is it? Game 2 is advanced practice. Really? Game 3 is the challenge is of next the actual off. game? So the actual game so is... finally at the actual game is what you're telling me. Uh, no, this no. When you get when you select which game style you want. Oh, to play. I see the style. Not level, not level. Okay, I thought that you I thought you were. And we're about on level. Uh, three shields, which is the harder one. Yeah. And I would, I lose the game if the time runs out, or lose a shield if the time runs out. So we only have we lose the game if the time runs out. So we're on the harder, we're on the harder difficulty switches, which is good. But we're not on the proper full game of the challenge of Nexar. So we'll play one round of that, at least. At least I will. Uh, demo mode. There's not much more, much else to it. Uh, level, the scores increase as the God. levels increase. So the more ships you shoot on the higher levels, the bigger the scores, like way bigger scores for each That's of the things you shoot. That's freaking hard. Ah! And you're kicking ass again! Oh my god. Turns out I like trackball games. Who knew? Who and you've knew? got four lives! You've like not died and got a bonus life. Oh don't don't god. jinx me! I'm doing you're, well! You're doing so good, it's amazing. It's amazing. You haven't <laughs> you haven't died yet. <laughs> Funny. Do not jinx me. Ah! <laughs> no, oh. oh. That's only one of your lives. Oh, oh my god! Oh, no! 
it's go it's moving too fast. It's really fast. Whoa. One more oh, to go. he got me. One more to go. Really? Yep. Oh, it's Wait. too hard. Oh, they threw a two at you? That's funny. What if you got both of them? Actually, it yeah, stopped it would, as it soon would. as you killed it. Go, Tanya, go, Mr. Fix. You're just, he's the, the cheerleader. I as know, always. I need a cheerleader. Ah! Oh. <laughs> That's one way to get it. You did get it. 16. 16. Ah, your turn. Okay, now we're going to actually play the challenge of Nexar. The challenge? So this is. Level 3 is the actual game. That was like. Level we were, 3? We were playing practice mode. Why would you start in hard Whoa. mode? Whoa! We weren't playing in practice mode, were we? Yep. That's what it says. No, it, it starts at level 3. Are no. you sure? No, no. This is practice mode, level one in the middle. Yeah. Two. And that's advanced practice. And this is the challenge of Nexo. Really? And this is like starting on level one. Almost like level three, because it's fast. Look how fast gotcha. they're coming out. All right. Well, we'll do a couple of rounds of this then. Whoa. So what happens if your time runs out? You die? Is that what you said? Yes, in this mode. Your time runs out of you. Wow. Mm. It is fast. Ooh. Good shooting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this game it, it definitely. Yes, Tanya did have a 16 <laughs> uh, uh, six, 16 6 game. Yep, very good score. But we just realized we were in the easy practice mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there you go. But we were playing on the same level. So yeah. Yes, we were. They, they were equivalent scores, scores, but we're, we're actually on the Proper game, game hardness number three or whatever yeah. whatever you call it. Challenge of Nexar level. Challenge of Nexar. Yes, Arena Flex. <laughs> it's fun. It's a fun game. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, Even though it's very, like, there's not much to it. There's not much depth. So it's shoot everything, avoid yeah. getting hit. Yeah, but it's it's fast paced enough that you you're not bored. It's, no, it's, no, 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 it's a lot of fun. It engages you a hundred percent. You're doing well this time. Yeah, even though it's, it's harder level. It's a very level. hard level. Maybe it's just you know it's challenging. You know those kids in school that uh, they, they get sent challenge. home on their credit card on their on their car uh, report cards yeah. saying. So and so needs a challenge. Yeah. Needs more challenging work. Or rises to. What are they saying? Uh, if you well, if you're asking me about what was on my report card, <laughs> daydreams a lot in class. Needs to be challenged. Possibly not challenging enough. <laughs> not challenging enough. <laughs> or just likes danger. Work on extra life, or shield as they call it in this. I don't think you die when you you put your crosshairs over. It's only debris. Really? Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to test it on. No, game, I don't but... either. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. See, now your score is really high. So. Yes. Not beating yours. I think because this is just as hard, I think it'll count towards beating. If I get a good score, beating. well, you've already beaten. Nice, yay! <laughs> On the hard level, see, I just needed to be challenged. Well, you're bored. getting more points every time you hit something I was just too. Bored. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It's nice though. There's a certain flow to the game. There is. Uh, that that it just is makes sense. That's kind of stimulating and calming at the same time. <laughs> yes. Hard to explain, but uh, it is a, it is pretty fun. Whoa! That one seemed like it was homing it. They are doing something different here. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. oh, still alive. One more left. Oof. They're, oh, there they're getting tricky now. They're moving in and out. They're not just going in a straight line now. Mm -hmm. So you can't count on them. Yeah, good job. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. Got it. You got XR6. it. XR6. Woo. there's going to be some tricky they don't seem to like move left and right ever the ufos oh we got um, you oh but i got an extra one Good for you. um 
They don't move left and right. They always move in a straight line, but yes. they will go in and out. Some of them go yeah. in and out. Because if they did move around, it. Thirty-five. <laughs> oh my god! I don't. I don't beat know if that. I'm gonna be able to beat that. <laughs> we will see. Uh game three. Oh, Rena Foot even labeled it. What game we're playing? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. version? Very nice. Yeah. What? I walked away from a few minutes. How did Tanya have a 1660? Yeah. <laughs> she got good. She did get good. Retro happy hour. I think you die if they're at the front, but not further back. That makes sense. So if they're small. Well, it does make sense because. Yeah, because they're not up towards you yet. Pretty fast starting off, eh? Yeah, it is. I didn't expect this game to be as engaging when I first saw it. I was like, oh, okay, a little silly little shooter. But um, it's, I think with a joystick, it would not be the same experience. Mm. I think it wouldn't be, wouldn't be anywhere near as fun. I can see more, a lot more games being converted over to the trackball. Anything where it's um, XY movement, a free form move, movement of XY, um, or any crosshair game uh, to be converted over. And I think this trackball series can just keep continuing on. And I know they've made more than 10 um, in the series and they've released the ROMs online. I can't, let me look it up which other ones that they did convert over but didn't make it to the uh, trackball series. Let me just open up the thread here. Anybody remember what the other ones are? So I know there's at least one that's in this thread as well. Okay, so... Missile Command, yes, have that. Centipede was released. Reactor was released. Millipede was released. Challenge of Nexar, which we're playing. Star Wars Arcade, Space Master, Mystery Control. Marble Craze, there we go. That's, uh, that's one that didn't make it to cartridge yet. Which would be a decent one. I think that's the one where you just move the marble. And it was originally made with two paddles, which I found unbelievably difficult to control with two paddles. So it would be definitely be a lot better with the trackball. That would be very... I should download that and play that ROM on the game. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Sorry. squeaky. That was squeaky. <laughs> I don't know when that's going to be released, so I should I should put that in. I'll, I'll make a mental note, write that down, and play that in an upcoming show. It's a marble craze because I wasn't too impressed with it with the two um, with the two paddle controls. That was super hard to do and very very confusing. This seems like a lot more, more a lot straightforward, a lot more straightforward. And I know there's some more suggestions of games to to uh, convert over. I can't remember what one of them was. It was like, perfect. And they haven't done it yet as far as I know. Might even have been I supposed to. Oh, that was... Oh, cheap? Incident. Yeah, it was oh. a cheap shot. I was pretty far away from it. Was it Star Wars? Oh, Crystal Castles. Yes. That one needs to be converted over. 2600 version of Crystal Castles. That would benefit so much from this. Um, also, I think I mentioned it. Oh, you got it, but you died. Um, crossbow. That would benefit a ton. So that would be a really good one to convert as well as crossbow. Which was a fairly decent port for what it had to do for the 2600. 24,000. I think this is a higher scoring. It is, Colony for sure. Colony 7 didn't get permission for release until recently. Interesting. Well, I guess it, I, it, it did get permission eventually. So that's Shoot. Good. Ah. Whoa, are you just dying left, right, and center? No, I just keep oh. missing them. It's pissing oh, me off. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, you ran out of time, I think. Did I? Yeah. I didn't see it, but I'm guessing you did. Oh. I start over? You're done. You can start over. 
No, no. We're I don't done. even know what my score was. Oh, you reset it too quick? No, I, I it disappeared. Oh, I don't know where. Oh, oh 28 6. That's pretty good. Yep. Yeah. Good job. Excellent. That was a lot of fun. It's a good that game. It is a good game. Yeah. So let's move on to the last game yeah. of the day. Oh, uh, Call 97 was a homebrew of an arcade game. Uh, mm. That's why. It was a little bit more difficult to get permission because you know, somebody made it for a company and that company is now out of business or mm. bought up by another company who mm -hmm. has never heard of the game they own, <laughs> right? Yep. Now, you probably know Missile Command. Uh, I don't haven't played it very much, but I do know it. Yes, yeah. very, very, very famous yep. arcade game. Yep. Oops. Oh, we missed the... Uh, I think people heard it, though. I heard it. It was the Atari age. Oh, Gingerbread Man. No. That's hmm? not the right one. There we go. Gingerbread Man. Missile Command. There we go. All right. The trackball has not failed us at all tonight. No, it's been great. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't take it apart. It's been really, really good. And this one. I know you have to manually reset. What am I doing? Um, shooting those things coming at you. There you go. Now you got the whole game. <laughs> That's how you play it. Okay, so, um, oh, where am I on here? My notes. Missile Command, 2002 trackball hack by Thomas Yentz. So this one's a very early trackball hack. Um, obviously a very popular game. Yeah. So that's probably why he went for it really early uh, to convert over. Um, and Missile Command is a 1980s arcade, 1980 arcade game developed and published by Atari and licensed to Sega for European release. It was designed by T Dave Thurer, who also designed Atari's vector graphics game Tempest. So this was uh, designed by the same guy who designed Tempest. Uh, not this port. Yeah. Um, the 1981 Atari 2600 port of Missile Command by Rob Fullop sold over 2.5 million copies, which is a lot, which makes uh, became the third most popular cartridge for the system. Behind Pac-Man and probably Combat, because it came boxed. Oh, your ammo is limited, yes. That is good to know. <laughs> um, Data ah. Warlock uh, told me to tell you that. Yeah, I saw that. So you're defending your six cities yes, at the bottom. Yeah. And your ammo is designated by those dots. These in the middle. ones at the bottom? Those little tiny dots. Ah, gotcha. You'll start with the full thing there. Oh, just a bit. Um so changes from the original game. Some changes have been made from the original missile command. There are now now extra game variations for two players ah. to share a single controller. Oh. Obviously. Well, not yeah. obviously. You could own two trackballs, I guess, and have two trackballs going. It's you unlikely. You can only go so low. Ow, 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 ow. If the missile's not going to, if the missile's not going to hit your missiles or cities, you can let it go. But you get points. But like when all these are coming down, concentrate on the ones that are going for your cities. Oh, I see there what you're you saying. Know, right? Yeah. Because it is pointless. I mean, there may have been survivors in those cities that have been destroyed, but. Um, Oh, one Ooh. city left. All you have to do is defend your shooting platform in the middle. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you made it to live another day. <laughs> Barely. One city. One Barely. city left. Defend your city. There you go. Now, this game uh, scared the hell out of me as a kid. With its sparse, haunting, echoing sounds. Oh, really? Sounds. And, of course, it was also the 1980s. Um, oh, yeah. And this was all about nuclear warfare. Mm. And missiles incoming on cities. Even though it was Atari graphics, it just seemed so... Um, so haunting. Save the cities that are closest to you first. Yeah, so you don't have to move as much back and forth. Oh, they're hitting your base. I think they have to actually hit your exact little dot in the center. Save your city. Save your city first. Oh, close it's game enough. over. Aww. Oh. Yes. Oh, it's like this haunting, nice. 
haunting terrible. <laughs> so read from mm -hmm. uh, those four points there. Wow, what's new? Yeah. Trackball mouse instead of joystick support. Different trackball mouse speeds. Normal, fast, and kid. Oh, different trackball speeds. Yeah. And That's then cool. new variations that allow two-player games with one trackball slash mouse. And, this is um, a little slow for me, actually, the movement. Yeah. Yeah, because I have to move it quite... You have to move it a lot. I don't... I, uh, I very slightly change changed font to better match arcade version. Ah, oh, very nice. Touch. Thomas, I think it's Thomas. Hmm? Yeah, Thomas Yentz. So you have to kind of anticipate where they're going to be mm -hmm. when your um, your defense missile mm -hmm. blows them up. And you can, can get two at a time if you time them up where they cross over. Don't you find it slow moving the trackball though? Like it you is. have to roll twice to get from one side of the screen to yeah, the other? Yeah, I think we'll investigate that yeah. in the next uh, it's, game. It, it feels very... Um, very like, uh, uh, yeah. uh, get it over! Yeah. yeah, it is a little slow. It's a bit of... See, those will cross over right... Oh, yeah. almost. No cross again. Perfect. Because you get more points for two at surviving. Once. Well, you get more points for two at once. And how many bullets you have left, too. Because they'll count the cities, then they'll count the bullets. And there's another cross. Yep. After a while, some really fast single missiles come in. Mm -hmm. And it speeds up, so it gets... Out of control. Well, I've really already quick. seen um, little lines come down. Yeah. And this just yeah, reminds me of the uh, movie War Games so much, yeah. too, which was out in the, near the same time, within a couple of years. Yeah, it looks like the conversion is beautiful. The mm -hmm. graphics of the explosion. Was it like a vector based game? The uh, original one? I don't Not vector based, think but so. it was black and white, wasn't it? The I think it was black and white with color overlays. Mm but I'm probably wrong, because I've never played it in the arcade. Um, this was a little before my time. I started playing game in the arcade a couple years after this, after this came and not, not many of the early, early games were still around in the arcades, because they updated them regularly by changing the boards out. So did you or, have, like, a local arcade that you would go to? No, mostly my experiences were at like you know Chuck E. Cheese style places yeah. uh, and on the ferry as well oh yeah they always had the games or well they still do actually on yep. the ferries or corner yeah. stores mm. or but not actual arcade arcades that's that's they, they always there was one in Langley where I grew up mm. and it was all it was really dark and seedy <laughs> and it was like yeah no kids don't go in this thing it was not a good place I didn't want to go in there actually frightening. Oh, and there goes one of my cities. And oh, another, one. another one. Oh, no. Original Missile Command was in color, and not vector. Oh, okay. I didn't think it was vector. I thought it was in black and white for some like reason. An extra but... city. It just seems that old, that 1980, that it would be. Yeah. Like something like that. Arcade oh, no. version was three gun bases, so you had three buttons, one f one oh. for each one, and had to choose which base to shoot from. Oh, really? Ah, interesting. That sounds a lot more complicated. Yeah. But... The Atari only has one button, so... Yeah. Oh, did I get an extra city back again? Yes, I did. Ugh, ugly cars. <laughs> oh, I missed it! Mm -hmm. I thought I got it, and I was just like, yeah, I'm fine. Oh my god, I missed it! I'm fast and furious oh, now! Yeah. I'm still making it. Only two cities down. Do I get an extra one? Nope. Nope. I haven't earned it. I think it's every 10,000 because I've gotten two cities back so far. Mm. That would make sense. And they do store it up. So I'm not dying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Defend my one city. Poor city. Defend the one city. Defend the one city. Missiles are going. Oh. Avoid the Ooh. cruise missiles. Oh. Yay! Yeah, we have two. extra, extra We're going to place in a terrible uh, course, <laughs> the worst spot ever. Uh, that's awesome. Oh my god. I am so dead. Well, so at least dead. you only have one city to defend. Oh, get it! 
and the cruise missiles avoided your explosions. Oh, they can go around them? Or are they just... I'm dead. Must oh, I got 40,000. I might get one city back. <gasps> Just enough time oh, to you're the city. so lucky. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I'm not. That's it for so me. So much for that. Just get extra points for blowing up some missiles while I head for the bunk bunker. I'm going to shelter in my backyard before the apocalypse comes and the T2 robots dominate the land. <laughs> the T2s. T1000s. T1000s. 45,000. This is Pretty good. really good with the trackball. This is what yeah. the trackball was Well, made this for. game was made for a trackball, right? Yeah, it was originally a trackball in, okay. the, <laughs> in the arcade. So let's try the different... Now, how do you do the different selections? Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that, a super high level? Uh, they're just different variations of the game. I don't know if the instructions say how to get to them. Let me get the instructions out, because I do want faster movement. Because I think that'll benefit is, quite is a bit. Is it the game? The right and... It might be the difficulties. One of the difficulties? Yeah, and it would be in the instructions that came with it, so... Black Attack? Black Attack, Sandipede, Nexar, Colony 7, Colony 7 Instruction Manual. Oh. Missile Command. Um, okay. It doesn't say how to do it. Okay. Does anybody out there know how to make it go faster? Because it says that the, there's variations. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll try the difficulties and the, the switches. Yeah. New variations. Where is it here? Different trackball mouse speeds. Doesn't seem to do anything. That, is that faster? Oh yeah. Is it? The left different. difficulty? Yeah, the left difficulty seems to be a little bit faster. Oh, that actually changes to black and white. Not oh, many. Oh, that's uh, cool. How many things do that now is that anymore? The TV type? Yeah, TV type. Oh, the arcade version also said the end when the screen was exploding. Oh, they didn't add that in. But you can't change too much. It's difficult. Especially if there's no room left over. So, yeah, the difficulty type, if you set it to A, it goes faster, mm. which is not documented. Yes, if they're both A. So BB is the slowest, AA is the fastest, okay. and a mix seems to be a middle. Mm. Better? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, you can do it a lot quicker, I think. It's it's not like... Oh, they're going along with the same lines. It's not like super appreciably fast, but it's a little bit faster. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. That is great. So, the games today, we played Millipede, Reactor, Nexar, Space Master, X7, and Missile Command. And um, Millipede was great. Missile uh, yeah. Command was great. Uh, Reactor is still not quite too not sure, sure about. Not sure how to play it. I'm not computer. saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying I haven't figured it out yet. Um, <laughs> Nexar I really enjoyed. That was a I, lot of fun. It, it was simple and a lot of fun yeah and and just the speed and and um yeah i like a game where the level progression isn't too fast because sometimes you feel like it moves it's progressing too fast and you you never really get a good score versus yeah. nexar seems to kind of build up at a rate where bit you feel bit. like it just gets a little bit more challenging you each, each time yes. so um excellent show great games great host cute cats yes they are cute <laughs> run down the line Let's show one of the cute cats oh, for Mr. Fix. I feel so bad. I bug this oh. kitty so much, but he is such a sweetie. Oh, oh. settle him, settle him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yes, you're okay. No, no, you're okay. Calm down, calm, Lucy. 
<laughs> yes, yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. And Space Master X7. Mm -hmm. What was that? What was that again? That was. What did you do in what that one? It? Space Master. Space Master. Oh, X7. that was shooting the um the, the guy in the in the 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 triangle or not the triangle in the square. Oh, I love that game. Excellent. Oh game. my god. Excellent game. I think that's my yeah. game of the night. I really like that game. I want to play it a bit more because um, I only really played it once. Yeah, you didn't get, you didn't get a good <laughs> but, shot um, after we kind of figured it out. Yeah. Um, so I think that's my game yeah. of the night. Um, because I've played Missile Command and Millipede kind of before. And this one is just like kind of cool and new to me, yeah. maybe. It's got that newness. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd, I definitely recommend Space Master. If you like Missile Command, you will love this version. If you like Millipede, you'll love it on the trackball. Mm -hmm. um, and Nexar is super cool. Um, Reactor, don't know how to play very well, so I can't really give that a proper mm -hmm. proper you know, score or grade. But um, I would definitely recommend um, checking out the other show if you didn't to see the other trackball games and picking up a trackball. I think they're like $30 to $50 mm. Canadian and U.S., um, so they're not super expensive. Oh, Ground Troop, you missed the show. Sorry, you can Sorry, rewind man. it and take a look at it yeah. or watch it on YouTube, YouTube. tomorrow. Yeah. Um, 7800 Centipede is modded two players, two trackballs, same Ooh, time. Wow. Cool. That is very cool. Mm -hmm. um, bitey, bitey, bitey. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think it's really good investment to get a trackball. I think it's a lot of fun. It adds a lot of really fun, fun gameplay. Yeah, and yeah. I think I've been... I'm thinking of yeah. getting actually an Amiga mouse as well. And um, you can plug that directly in. Yeah. And Missile Command would be a really good mouse yes. game. Boom, boom, yes, boom, yes, boom, yes, boom, yes. boom, boom. Yeah. yeah. Not as easy to play on the couch, though. Uh, no. <laughs> so you'd have to have a proper, proper you would, yeah. table set up uh, for that I one. mean, for us. Uh, for, yes. for those watching at home, it probably is not such a big deal. But yeah, yeah, it might not yeah. be too bad. Yeah. Um, so that... Is oh we didn't even talk about Bandersnatch but that's okay. Oh we no talk, we should. Do talk, we have time? We have a little bit of time. Yeah. Um, we so watched it finally. As as most people have probably seen it by now, mm -hmm. and if you haven't seen it, we won't uh, get into too much spoilers. But it um, takes place in the early '80s in um, Britain, where microcomputers in, instead of consoles were kind of the norm. There wasn't a big console um, war there as much um, mm. because they everybody went to computers, which was well, kind so of interesting. They were big into the ZX Spectrum, right? In, yeah, that in, was in the focus England. of yeah. the show was the ZX Spectrum, a low-cost computer, mm -hmm. um, which had kind of funky graphics, um, kind of funky sound, but it was cheap and everybody had it. And games were distributed on tape and they're only like $5 mm -hmm. then, five pounds, around five pounds to six or seven pounds. So they're really, really cheap, and mm -hmm. and the games were small, but it, um, it the the show is like a choose your own adventure turned into a movie, and it's seamless branching, which is beautiful. There's no loading time. You pick a choice, it goes right to that choice. Uh, I saw it without the ability to choose, like watching Dragon's Lair. Without, without yeah, it's better when you choose because yeah, the the show lends itself inherently and you can't say too much, but it, it works with you, the audience mm -hmm. making the choices. And that is part of the film. Mm -hmm. And without that interaction, it doesn't make as much sense. It doesn't make any sense as much. Well, and it, and what happens is, is you, you hit an ending and it bounces you back too. So, so you yes. can go back and rechoose. So it, it allows you to continually, um, experience um the new the new footage paths. the new paths but not only that when it yeah. bounces you back it does a recap of everything up to that point sometimes That's, sometimes sometimes yeah and sometimes those recaps are not quite the same they yeah. will change little things so you yeah. have to watch carefully yeah. ground trooper doesn't want any spoilers Pro i promise we won't okay. give you we any won't spoilers. Give any spoilers uh but i, I but just you, talking about how it works yes really. yeah not the plot no um, and after you watch it and go through it a bunch of times, I highly recommend go on to the internet and start studying what other people have kind of. Yeah, you can out. find you can find um, the branch diagrams of of 
because you, you will want to see all the endings yeah. and see all the branches. It's very cool. It's yeah. very cool. Yeah. And I suppose as it kept appearing to me, he kept appearing at an earlier time for a new path. Yeah. It does reverse you back to a random-ish point yeah. where it wants you to take a new path. Yeah. And the choices change too. So don't assume that you can choose the path you didn't take last time. A little bit. A little There's bit. There's a little bit of and, that. Yes. Yeah. But anyway. Oh, it's called Bandersnatch. It's on Netflix. Yes. Um, you can, you have to you play it on the right platform. You it, have to have black, somebody. It's a Black Mirror episode. And just in Mirror. case you yes. haven't actually heard of it, but yes. I think most people have at it's, this point. It's season five, um, episode zero of, of Black Mirror. Yeah. Um, and you need to play it on something that you can choose choices like on a either your computer i would assume yep, would work computer would work uh we played yeah. on our ps4 ps4 so. works yeah. anything where you can like you can't just watch it unfortunately on like a chromecast or yeah, something it wouldn't work. we tried to work it played on chromecast yeah it didn't, didn't work, work so yeah. luckily we had another way to yeah. do it we yeah. could have done it on the computer too yeah i assume the computer would work if you just yeah, played it because you yeah. just have a mouse and yeah. you click on it yeah. it was long all at once if you start over you want to see many paths you could spend hours yes, yes many hours we spent a lot of time and then at a certain point we just said i want to know what i haven't seen and then you, fast you can you can we kind of went online and yeah. and and someone has laid it all out so yeah if but it, if, if you're a completionist yes. in that sense then you can find the answers and and or just experience it on your own and see where you end up and it has cool. a lot to do yeah. a little i guess a little bit medium amount to do with computers mm. and computer programming mm. on apple tv you can't choose left and right oh so, that's annoying so you yeah. wouldn't be able to do it on apple tv but yeah. everybody out there has a computer or Probably. a tablet or even a phone so you can yeah. do it on all those yeah um sounds like the 80s movie clue Kind of, uh, but you couldn't choose in Clue, I don't think, in, in the film. No. It was just like random at a cinema, which ending you had in Clue when mm -hmm. they put it out into the theaters. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think on the home version, you could choose. Maybe on the DVD. On they, the DVD. They, they might have. There was like an option you yeah. could see. I never All watched that. All three endings that. on the VHS <laughs> tape of Clue. Oh, nice. I uh, heard people watch it on VHS. Apple TV. Okay, maybe it can. We don't have yeah. it, so we can't really speak to yeah. whether it works on Apple TV. Check your local provider. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, good to see what games are non next show. We have a an all work in progress show. Mm -hmm. uh, a whole bunch of brand new games. Uh, some really good stuff. Let me just get it here for you. We're going to play Daredevil, a brand new game. Um can't remember his name right now, but he's done some games before that we've shown on the show. We're going to do a, a work in progress update on Chaotic Grill. He's got all the game done. I think it's just the visual mechanics that are left. Dre Devil. <laughs> um, Shark Jaws Plus. We're going to play Snowflakes 2018 and Tumble Temple. Mm. Oh, Tire Tracks that he made before. Yes, so... Really, mm. really good at graphics. Yeah. Um, I think I saw you and Erlen playing that game. At some yeah, point. Tire yeah, Tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tumble Temple, which is very similar to um, te Temple of... What was the other game? Temple of... Uh, the Work in Progress game. Uh, Tower of Rubble. Tower of Rubble. Mm. Where there's blocks and you have to jump from block to block. But this is a totally different mechanic. It just kind of looks the same. Mm. But very, very, very cool. Um, so lots of really cool games next Wednesday. It's going to be at 11 a.m. We're going to be doing 11 a.m. Wednesdays all this month. Because mm. Erlen's able to do 11 a.m., oh, which is awesome. Excellent. I was going to say, is Erlen going to do it with you? So yep. He's all good for uh, 11 a.m. this month. So that's going to be our next uh, next show on next Wednesday. So I want to thank all the people that mm. were hanging out with us today yeah, on a Friday night, spending their uh, yeah. Friday evenings with Having us. Having your Friday evening I know evening there are wine better with... <laughs> things that you could be doing than uh, watching us, but Not, we... No. No, there Not isn't. Really. There's cats, there's, there's wine, cats. there's video there's games. There's video games. How can... Really, really, isn't that what everyone wants to do at Yeah, Friday? what are you missing? <laughs> yeah, 1 p.m. Central Time. Mm -hmm. Yes, for the Wednesday show. Mm -hmm. So, Arena Foot, thanks for being here. Yeah. Ice Bosta, Ground Trooper, RC7E. I'm sure there's a better way to say that, but RC7E, rc I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Valesen, uh, which is a new name. Yes. Um, 
Uh, Data Warlock. Data Warlock. Thank Ice Post, if I didn't say that. Retro Happy, Happy Hour. Yeah. Mr. Fix, of course. Uh, I know there's a Mo Omega Matrix That's, 2600 who made yes. some of these Thank you. hacks tonight. Really Thank fun you so games. Much. And yeah. last episode as well. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out, checking out the show. Uh, oh, and a thank you for RC70 for uh, subscribing or resubscribing. I yes. think you might have been a awesome. subscriber before. Uh, who else? I know there's another name in here. Oh, it's off the oh, screen. And it. for I supposed to, to for cheering. Oh, it's a random generated generated name. RC70, and you stick with it. Yeah. And thanks for I supposed to for cheering for a hundred. I did the bit thing once, first time subscribe. Yeah, excellent. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you so much. And, uh, oh, oh, it resets in two days, the cheers. Oh, okay, so you have to gotcha. keep on top of that. Yeah. Um, so thanks for watching Zero Page Homebrew. We will be back on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific mm -hmm. time, 2 p.m. Eastern time. And what is that? 7 p.m. in Europe. 7 p.m. GMT. That's GMT. Like the, that's the general. I'm sure everybody. Greenwich Mean Time. I'm sure everybody in Europe knows in relation to GMT, right? Just like in Europe, we, probably. Just like in North America, we it's know. It's e EST. I, I, I find Eastern Standard Time. Well, I because I grew up in Ontario. But that's that's your probably norm. why I always think of EST as being like the normal. The normal. But, um, the center of Canada. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and I know everything from PST. PST. Or PDT. Or just PT. That's confusing. Yeah. What time of the year is it? Do we did we do our clocks back or forward? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're out of here. Thanks for hanging yes. out, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. On Zero Page Homebrew. Have a good weekend. Bye bye. Bye.